access granted. It's the most wonderful time of the day. I'll, uh, I'll take it after. <laughs> How you doing? Are you alright, my dear? How did your, um, how did your interview go? Squidge! How you doing? Hope you're alright, ladies. Uh, <laughs> see, you say it's the most wonderful time of the day. I will take that compliment and I will, um, I will treasure it, but, uh, like, what, 6 a.m.? Come on. Come on, Af. That's the middle of the night, my dear. <laughs> aren't, aren't I lucky that you're my friend and you have that crazy uh, go to bed super early, wake up super early? Aren't I, uh, aren't I lucky? I'll be able to benefit from that. How you doing? Red Mage! Seven. Seven's uh, in the same boat. How you doing, Seven? You alright? Um, looked like you had a lot going on yesterday, Seven. Uh, I hope everything's alright. Um, 6 a.m. is nice. It, I mean, is it? Are you are you up as well, anyway, Seven? My God. Like if you if you guys uh, were streaming and you're like, oh, it is can you, I'm I'm streaming? I'm like, oh, cool. What time's your stream? Oh, 6 a.m. Oh well, yeah. I guess I'm never gonna see that, am I? I'm never gonna see it. Um. See, this is what I was <laughs> Seven, you've been up since two. That's bedtime. That's not awake time. That's bedtime. Um, have you... I guess that's not normal, though. Hope you're right. Um, you went really well. You think you'll get a job? I think you will as well, Af. Because if they don't... Uh, they go, if you don't, they don't offer you that job. They're going to be... Uh, going to get uh, a little... Um, Get a little message from me. Oi! No, not really. I'm not. I can't involve myself in other people's business like that. Um. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Seven. You. I don't. If there's anything I can do, seven, you let me know, my dear. I don't. Uh, there's probably nothing I can do. But pep talk, shoulder to cry on. Um, someone to vent at. I am here. I'm at your disposal. If that's not going to help, that I'm not going to pressure that. But um, yeah. We can do anyway. Yeah, Red Mage. Happy Faraga Friday to you, sir. <laughs> um, Oleander. What now? What is Oleander? That's uh, oh, is that is that not some? Is that a poison? <laughs> I can't, uh, telling me how to grow it here and, uh, propagate it. Whatever. Um, well, yes, thank you, Squidge. I appreciate that. I don't really do much, but, uh, I feel that's, a, you know, as a, as a proper, um, I don't want to say proper streamer because, you know, some, a lot of streamers are very, um, they have like a bit, kind of a bit of a ba barrier between them and their viewership. Um, 
do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I, I don't want to have that. Now, who knows? Maybe um, in years, ta years to come, you know, if we still, we keep, you know, we keep on tracking. We do our thing. Uh, you know, grow slowly over time. Um, you know, not being one of these big streamers like uh, a seven pointed out because I'm, I'm not built like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you know, you could get to the point where you know I'm always like after every stream, yo, DM me, message me, what can I do to help? I'm here to listen. And then I finish stream one day, and I've got like hundred DMs, or like hundred notifications, and then that's the same every day. Then maybe we'll have to like reassess that situation. But for now, we're not there, so let's not worry about it. Let's keep going. Uh, I'll do what I can. Um, Right, okay. Well, I don't just put it up Google there. I didn't say like this is this is illegal. It's like, oh, here's how you grow oleander. I was like, oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe it maybe it's like you have to prep it. Um I don't know. We shall see. Uh well we won't see. I'm not that okay, I'm not gonna do that. I don't know, you have to I wish I could uh I wish I could help you out, but I don't know, uh I don't know if I can there's anything I want to do. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, Squidge, oh, I'm not, who, uh, what's the, what's the, um, do not judge lest you be judged yourself, I mean, I'm not, I know, I know, I know, I know you guys are looking at me and you're like, oh my god, but Isnib, you're perfect, you are the, uh, epitome of the finest human being that could ever exist. You are literal perfection. I know you're thinking that, but let me tell you, that's it's not that's not quite true. Not quite true. I tried to be. I've tried to be a good guy throughout my life, and I'll continue to try and improve as I go forward and get older. But I'm not perfect. <laughs> oh, uh, and here, here to here to amuse as well. That's what we're doing. Um, but yeah, you know, so. You know, and there's exceptions to that. You know, extreme evil, like unrepentant, really, really bad people. Yeah, you know, I'm not, um, I'm going to judge them. I'm going to judge them. You know, you know what kind of stuff I'm talking about. Um, but uh, you know, any, a, no, a normal citizen of humanity, I can't pass any judgment. Um, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Red Mage. I, I, I do try, buddy. I do try. But, uh, you know. Um, uh, it, seven, I got bombarded yesterday, uh, which was nice. Uh, I don't know about that, Red Mage. It's, so it's just... Um, yeah, and, so, and this is like morning for me. I know like people like... Uh, Squidge have like been on the go for like you know a, a bunch of hours already, uh, as probably has Red Red Mage. But um, yeah, you know, this is my morning, so it, it takes me a bit to get going. Seven. Uh, uh so put together. You know, I'm talking about me. I uh, <laughs> make it up as I go along. Anyway, we are here. Um. Yo, so I got a, a bit of a vibe about Dragon Age 2 yesterday. I wonder if we're approaching the end. There's not a lot of stuff, but... Just like, you know, if we if we were looking at it, the game split into chapters. This is, um... Prologue Chapter 1. Chapter 2 we're in. Now, we're not just going to complete the game. I don't know. if it, well, Now, the characters are level 18. Which is pretty high. And the base game of, uh... The first game, you're looking at the end level 20, 22-ish by the time we finish. And I think we finally got Izzy to about level 30 by the time we'd completely finished the uh, all of the DLC. I, like, I don't know, Red Mansion, maybe not. It seems it, it seems if it was, it'd be coming in too quickly. Um, which may pose a little bit of a conundrum. Uh, just because um, we're almost at the end of the month. And I'm, we well, like a week from now, we're going to have some more votes coming in from the producers to decide our next game. Um... We've already got one lined up that's... Like in fact, okay, we've got two games on the list. One that has... Uh, so, you know, I want one that... We're going to go to too many deals. One that has more votes than the other one. They're both long games, but the one that's up next is... Uh, 
the super long game that we could definitely not play right through. We'd have to do a bit here and a bit there as we go along, which is fine. But uh, it's not just a case of me making a scene and loading up the game. Um, I went, you know, once I was like, oh, we're going to be playing this soon. Okay. I was doing a bit of research and I've gone down a bit of a rabbit hole. And um, uh, he's taking some preparation to set up the game to uh for us to get the most out of it on the channel and it's uh take basically i could have had it done by now probably but um past two weekends have been busier than i was hoping they would be so i'm a little bit behind on that what i'm saying is if we were to finish dragon age 2 halfway through today's stream i would have <laughs> the next game is not ready to go on a technical sense it's not ready to go so i don't know what we'd do then we'd um we'll wing it we'll see what happens um i mean if we were to complete dragon age 2 today you know not before the end of the stream but like with the end of the stream that would tie in very nicely um honestly uh we're not gonna push it we're not gonna rush it um we shall see um what's happening with your uh, apartment red mage yeah um um i mean i could pull out any old thing uh squidge but nothing that's like super short I, i've i've got confidence that it will it's going to work out because this, if it, it does, this weekend should be should be just enough time for me to sort out what I need to. So Monday we can start the new game. Um, consider giving the producers like be like, okay, it's I know it's a bit early, but give, get get me your votes in now. But um, I think we'll just uh, I think we'll just wait. No, we'll be fine either way. I will think of something. Um, but I hope you're all doing well. So yeah, something I should mention, folks. Some of you may have seen this on the the conflux. Um. And I think probably uh, most of you here didn't know him, or uh, maybe you didn't even know of him. Um, but a young fella called Ronathan, uh, he actually died a couple of days ago, Wednesday uh, Wednesday evening, I guess. Um, we didn't hear about it till last night. Yo, Wolf, how you doing, bro? Welcome in. Um, so I, I can't say it was, I was I wasn't close to Ronathan. Um, we, we were acquaintances though and we didn't had spoken before um you know he'd raid raided us a couple of times we raided him a couple of times um and uh he was a, he was a good he was a good lad um it's very sad i don't know all the details of it um and i don't know what we will find out either because it's not really any of our business but um obviously his wife is very upset you know, because her husband has just died uh, very unexpectedly. I think he was literally like two or three years older than me. It, uh, j that's that's a crazy. I, I can't. You know, that's just like crazy young. Um. But um, God bless you, Ronathan. Yeah, he was um. He did he, he did stream, but he was like not like full-time streaming like I'm, we're doing here and um you know he's he's uh just did a bit on the side he did a lot of stuff with the game the cr game room and on his own stream he would uh you know he'd do a bit of like uh, he was into dice masters and magic the gathering i think the, the thing he mostly did though was uh rocket league and um oh that's arguably not say much he's uh ronathan is my like kind of uh uh, nearest connection to Rocket League. So if I think of Rocket League, I think of Ronathan. And it was enjoyable watching him play it and kind of pick up some of the uh, nuances of the game. Um, but yeah, I, th I guess well, <laughs> what was uh, most memorable for me about him was um, his love of Spumoni. Now, if Spumoni is uh, the equivalent over here in the UK is Neapolitan ice cream. It's slightly different. It's supposed to be... Uh, um chocolate strawberry and pistachio combination ice cream that's spumoni and they sometimes they chuck cherry oh no it's meant to be like chocolate cherry and pistachio but sometimes they they switch out the cherry for strawberry and sometimes they switch out the pistachio for vanilla 
it's a bit like that um but yeah we're in into the point where um because ronathan really enjoyed uh particularly on this channel our borderland streams with stefan murr um and apparently there's a, a an international spumoni day we just happened to be streaming borderlands on spumoni day so we we celebrated it on this channel <laughs> um obviously i didn't have any but uh steph and Murr both went out and bought some and in our halfway th break they you know cracked it open and tried it and they were like oh yeah this ain't so, this ain't that great <laughs> the irony of this uh of course is a little while after the fact um you know because everyone's like ragging on spumoni being like ronathan it's not that good ronathan's like yeah no it's the best it's the best ice cream it came to pass that Ronathan actually admitted that he wasn't actually that into it. <laughs> and uh, Murr, a sound from other people, were freaking out about it. Um, uh, like, My God, how could you lie to us, Ronathan? And he's like, I don't know. It just, it just kind of carried, <laughs> got carried away. Do you know what I mean? But, but um, Ronathan, bless you, sir. Um, I do, you know, we all with different beliefs about death. I do believe he's in a better place. Um... I just hope his uh, his widow's going to be all right. I, I hope. I say, that's okay. I don't know his uh, situation. But, um, I, you know, I assume they had family nearby. I, I, I assume and hope she's not on her own. Um, but, yeah. Um, see you next time round, Jonathan. You have a good one, bro. Um, yeah, no, it is Red Mage. I, 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 I don't know about you, buddy. I feel like I just got here, Red Mage. Just got here. If if I knew that I was not going to be here like two years from now, I'd be like, "What well, you bloody having a laugh?" I just got here. I'm only sorely disappointed if I don't hit eighty. You know what I mean? I'm aiming for triple digits, folks. That's what I'm aiming for, at least. Um, you know, if I start failing before I re reach eighty, I'm gonna be like, "God, it is what you." <laughs> You you failed, <laughs> you failed at the last. It'd be like when we played um, when we played uh, Code Veronica. I just couldn't kill the last boss. I'd be like, "Is you freaking idiot?" Um, you were aiming for single digits, but I overshot a bit. Af. <laughs> <God. laughs> yeah, you know what that means. Now you've overshot. You've got to go all the way around again. You have got to get to a hundred. You know, you got to get to a hundred and whatever single digit you're after so hang on um yeah yeah red mage that's what it feels like doesn't it buddy i don't i don't know you know but um you know it's just uh just came a bit of a shock and it just made me think about like what my you know because i knew ronathan i knew he's a cool guy he was always like welcoming he was always friendly he was always chatty uh you know, he's just all, all around, just generally good guy. And, uh, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm thinking about it. And I, w and I wasn't close to him. What about when Legion Cage dies next week? I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be very upset. I mean, after the party, obviously. Um, you know, but after that, I'm going to be like, oh, no. Cage is gone. At least we had a good party, though. Um, no, I'm only playing Cage. <laughs> hang in, so what I'm saying, folks, is hang in there. Yeah, and don't, definitely don't die in the cutscene. Uh, just, just you know. In, a, in a, what, one way, it's sad for the people left behind. It's not sad for the person themselves. I mean, it's, it is kind of, because he, he didn't get a very long life. But, you know, he's just gone to the next level a lot sooner. We're playing through the level. Ronathan was like, I'm going to use the, the warp whistle. I'm going to go through the warp pipe. You know, and maybe he didn't want to go through the warp pipe. We accidentally fell down it, you know. But he's just gone on to the next level. Which we're all headed towards the next level. We're just, you know, me and Red Maid, we're just collecting all the... We're getting every single coin in the coin boxes. You know, some people want to run through it. Some people use the warp whistle. It's, it's we're all going the same direction. It's just, uh, you know, I like to collect things. I like to get the coins. Um, Thank you. Yeah, get on with... I don't want to distract you, Squid. You get on with your work. Thank you for that, Lurk. Um... But yeah, I just wanted to mention that, because uh, uh, he's he's a good lad. Um... <laughs> Hardly, you can't 100% here, that's a problem, Af. 
So then some people say, like, oh, well, if you can't hit 100%, I don't really care about any other kind of percentage. Um, but yeah, I feel like me me and uh, Red Major are definitely on, on, along the lines of, you know, you get the coins. Actually, I don't do that in Mario. I just run through the level, but... <laughs> Uh, Red Mage, thank you for the alert. We'll see you later, buddy. Uh, the worst speed run. You're failing miserably, Af. Yeah, not, help, not helping yourself getting a new job either. God. But anyway, um, I think that's all I really want to say about it. I just, first, I just felt like I wanted to mention something. So thank you for uh, indulging me there. I guess we get on with Dragon Age 2 now. Um, so yeah, so God, we found out lots of stuff yesterday. So... This uh, the 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 artifact. Well, firstly, the serial killer got mother. Mother is dead, killed by the serial killer. Very disturbing. But we uh we killed those responsible. That's all we can do. Uh, Bethany's still in trapped in the circle. I hope she's gonna be alright. Um. God, things are not going to end well. Um, the Canari are about to kick off. Uh, they want their book. Isabella got their book and ran away, which I don't mind. She's uh, she's using it as to stop Castillon going after her. But I don't understand. She's so like she acts so confident as Isabella, but she's actually just kind of a uh, scared little kid trapped in there. All she has to do is go, yo, Hawk, can you protect me? And I'll go, yeah, sure. Let's go kill all the Canari. Let's go kill all the Tavinters. Let's go kill Castillon and all his buddies. Let's just kill everyone. And then you're not going to worry about it after him to run away. But anyway, so the, the book is gone, as is Isabella. Um, we'll take it from there. Um, but we have to go and see the Canari. So aveline has got a bit of a problem where criminals are basically just to avoid just to kind of get asylum essentially with the canary they're like oh yeah i'm converting to coon and the canary like yes okay anyone's welcome to convert we don't care about the, the human laws that means nothing to us um but obviously we can't let that stand because if there's if that's made a if that's made it becomes a precedent any a citizen in kirkwall can do anything and then just as long as they get to the Canari compound and submit themselves, uh, you know, before the guard get them, anybody can do any crime and just get away with it. Because the Canari, oh, you rape and murder. Oh, uh, that, we don't care about that. Do, no, it's, it's not against the coon. And it's like, okay, whatever. Um, it's all a mess. <laughs> But we are going to have to resolve it. So let's jump over there and, and start trying to fix the whole bloody thing. Blood the streets, folks. This is the only way it's going to go. We're going to have to just kill everyone. I'm confident in our fighting ability. Um, now it's time we've got to get Varric back in the party. Which is a sh not a shame. He's excellent, is Varric. But I just preferred... Um, you know, I probably just preferred uh, Isabella's like double shankers. But, you know, personal preference. Varric is arguably the better character. Probably more loyal. But maybe that's not saying much. Um, right, here we go. Of course, guys, I'm here for you. You, you know, let me know what you want. Um, do I need that fan on? I'm alright for a minute. A oh, freaky looking sword. How do I feel about this sword. Looks a bit weird, doesn't it? An Ari for you. Never mind. Excuse me.
Um, I want to get Varric in the party before we... Uh, good old Meryl's house. Here we go. Uh, before I start going to see them because it could kick off. It could kick off right away. Right, what we are uh, doing, young man? I guess we're in some willpower, for more stamina. Upgrade that little uh, attack he's got there. On that note, just in case. But it won't matter right now, but. Don't forget, as soon as you're finished wrapping up your business, we'll. I'd wrap up any other business before we go. It's already a mess and could get worse. Yeah, we've only got like two random side quests uh, that are kind of like somewhat ambient with they in, in that they don't have a marker and we've not come across them so i don't i don't really care we're just gonna press on let's go i request an audience <clears throat> with the irish shock he will allow it but not in this number i will only bring my friend here and a small compliment of my guard is that few enough it is enter okay anders fenris and uh varick you're gone Shenadon. Greetings, Arashok. We come regarding the elven fugitives that took refuge here. Irrelevant. Uh. I would speak to Hawk about the relics stolen from my grasp. Yeah. That's not what we're here to speak about. Isabella does have it. Yeah, I will find it. I don't know where it is. That was just technically true. I do plan to find it because I want to find Isabella. She's very... I, I feel like she doesn't trust us because she's, like, naive. Um, that we can help her, but we can. If you give me time, I'll get it back for you. It is much too late for that. Okay, well... An issue for another time. We're here for the fugitives. The elves are now Vidithari. They have chosen to submit to the Kuhn. They will be protected. Have they truly converted? Or are they simply using you as a shield? They have chosen, and so have I. You have not hidden the abuses of your zealots or the corruption of this city. You will understand why I must do this. No. Let us look at your dangerous criminals. Yeah, we don't know what they've Speak done exactly. Speak Vidithari. Who did you murder, and why? A city guard forced himself on our sister. We reported him, or tried to. But they did nothing <clears throat> about it, no matter what we said. So my brothers and I paid him a visit. No. That doesn't excuse murder. Oh, uh... Uh... <laughs> We're not here to argue, Avril is right. Uh, well, I mean, not being funny, if I had a sister... And then she got raped by some random dude, a police officer. And then I went to the police officer and be like, yo, you, what are you going to do about this? And they just go, nah, nah, jog on. Then I, th I think you should probably go kill him. Honestly, that maybe that sounds a bit too dark. I don't know, but. Are these elves telling the truth? There have been rumors. I will investigate. But they still took the law into their own hands. Well, you have to do that, Aveline. If the law is useless, 
you do have to do that. Sometimes that is necessary. No, I agree with the arrow shot here, I'm afraid to say. Like you avenged the Viscount's son. It was not right then, and it's not right now. Um... Hmm. Um, let's take mid of the road. Not here to ar not here to argue, folks. We're to get stuff done. We're just here for the elves. Okay, I didn't want to say that. Their actions are mere symptoms. Your society is the disease. They have chosen. The Vidathari will submit to the Kune and find a path your way has denied them. You can't just decide that. You must hand them over. Why must he? Yeah. Tell me, Hawk, what would you do in my place? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Leave you the clearly city. don't like staying amongst humans. Yeah, that's the thing. If they're I after the artifacts, without the relic, and I cannot stay and remain blind to this dysfunction. Yeah. There is only one solution. The final solution. Arishok, there is no need for. Vinek Oh. Blood in the streets. Not here. Too open. Go, go. Okay. War with the canary. Hawk! Let's just kill them all. Not nearly as creepy. That, what's that seven? Can you hear it? The canary must be spreading out. They're attacking the city. Yeah, we're up to kill them then. Why? What could they possibly hope to accomplish? You heard the Arashok. He's done playing nice. And damn the consequences. You may be right. Whatever it is, we need to do something quickly. But we'll need some help. Oh, don't be as creepy as him. <laughs> I don't know if that's a, that's an option. Yeah, I don't need you, Aveline. No offense. Take these three. You're safe. Thank the Maker. I thought they got you. Dark Town is flooded with people trying to get away from all this. The Canari are assaulting the city and fast. The Arashok planned this for who knows how long. I'll rally the guardsmen. I suggest heading to your estate in Hightown. Be careful. The thing is, I kind I kind of understand his position, but he's obviously I feel he's like going the wrong way about it. You know what I mean, he, he want they want the book. The book is gone. They don't know where the book is gone, but it's just as likely to be. It's <laughs> the last place it's going to return to is the city. You see what I'm saying? But he, it's because he doesn't really care. I mean, it's not that he doesn't care about it. He does care about it, but he has a personal vendetta against the city based on his own beliefs. He's like, no, this is scum. This must be destroyed. And uh, well, there we go. Oh. I'll deal with this. Here it comes. Now you fall. Go down. Let's finish this. 
Damn, this sword though. I'm feeling the it's got like um plus plus ten damage to Canari. Let's just say I'm feeling it. So they just keep coming. Presumably not. Hopefully not. If I see them pop up on my uh, minimap, I kind of just want to fight them. Do you know what I mean? I don't. You don't want to leave enemies behind you. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can, Hawk. Oh, bloody Cerebass up here. Sincere thanks. This attack was most unexpected. Not really. No, we it wasn't, buddy. Met. Anyone who's got their ear to the ground. Of the Grey Wardens. Oh, Stroud. I cannot believe the Kunari would dare so. Stroud wasn't. He wasn't the guy in the first game. No, he died. He must be just a random guy, random Grey Warden called Stroud. Okay. An attack. This will lead to war with the Free Marches for certain. I fear pressing matters take us elsewhere, but. We can spread word to the other free cities. Perhaps they will bring aid. There's something more important than an invasion. There is, but I cannot say more. The Kunari are of far greater concern to you, I'm certain. But we must return to our mission. Okay. Reinforcements would come in handy if we fail. Even if we wish to, Grey Wardens cannot involve themselves in political struggles. I am sorry. Okay, what have you been doing now? Take this. It is all we can spare, but perhaps it will be of use. What's he giving us? Make her watch over you, my friend. Items received. Warden's promise. Let me just uh, check these. Oh, no, I think I checked these yesterday, didn't I? Yeah. Ah, a ring. Oh. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty... That's pretty sweet. Uh, let me just decide which one's removing. Guess it'll be that one, won't it? <clears throat> That's it, run away kids. Random looters. Uh, got you, now. Oh. you sure? <laughs> Random looters. Okay. Oh, there's some more of them. I 
they kill uh, Choco Dog? They did. Thankfully, we'll just bring him back in a second. Just having a little look, you never know. Probably nothing of importance, certainly. We shall see. There we go. Stand down. You want over here, kids? I think we're just getting started, Anders. Looks like we made it. <laughs> mm. I forgot about my coffee there. It's just perfect drinking temperature now. Don't need to get on it. <laughs> Torn trousers. Nice. We're good to go. Moth eaten scarf. Oh. <laughs> uh, um. I guess we've, we're going to have to keep fight and kill the Arashok before this is done, aren't we? It'll be mano a mano between Hawk and, uh, and the Arashok. Maybe. Oh, so far, so good. Shara, 
Quit your struggling, woman. <laughs> Tepa! Boss! Then the Aeroshock failed to take you captive. Unfortunate. Yeah, no, you'll be fine. She can keep out. Oh, the stems are tough. There we go. Got uh, Sarah batting around. Ah, I'll see you then, buddy. Commander Meredith. Yes, finally we meet. I know you. No, you don't. You think the you do. name Hawk has turned up in my reports many times. Too many. But that doesn't matter now. No, let's kill the Canari together. The Canari are taking people to the keep and may already be in control. We will need to deal with them. Why would they be gathering hostages? They're going to take everyone of import and put them in the same place. Those that agree to convert, live. Those that don't. Charming. Always happy to help in a life-threatening crisis. Good. Your skills will be sorely needed. Mm. Head to the keep and I will... Now, obviously, we don't... She's the leader of the Templars and she's like super sus but she didn't uh she wasn't part of the uh the final solution so that's something but we're definitely not friends um this bitch I can find more of my men. <laughs> she was Keep fine at the minute seven but I'm, I'm sure that's going to change as time goes on isn't it double bearded axe Hello? Hello, hello? That sounds, uh... You know, one, one bearded axe. That's crazy. Um... Uh... Okay. Interesting. It's given a boost to stamina, which definitely would not hurt, um... Not hurt Hawk at all. Plus 15% crit damage, plus 10% physical damage. We're obviously losing the, the base 10, 10 damage versus Canary, but... I feel overall, that's freaking amazing, honestly. And it looks pretty cool. It looks like a proper axe as well. Uh, now, what about the... Uh, the... Uh, Ballo Cascato uh, for... Uh, yeah, okay, I think uh, at least for now... We could give that to uh, Fenris, particularly as we're fighting Canari. Yeah, let's go with this axe. Yeah, that chunk, nice little chunk of uh, stamina just boosted right out. Oh. Yeah, double beard. I guess it's beard on each side. But how much? Like random crappy gauntlets, so I don't know if these are any good, right? Ew, terrible. 
Uh, imagine having uh, so much beard. There's a double beard. Oh, okay. That's why he popped up that tooltip there. Because uh, poor Varric did actually die in that exchange. I didn't notice. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, little buddy. See, he's got the... He's... Oh, did I? Oh, did I pop the wrong potion there? Oh, unless he got a double injury. Oh, my God. See, look. Varric doesn't moan like a little bitch. <laughs> He's just like, okay, nah, never mind. I got beat up. That's fine. Let's just pop a potion. It's fine. Moving on. Oh, my God. And Carter as well. Now, you'd think the Carter would fight along with us in this uh, situation. <laughs> but, uh, maybe not. Never mind to ask us. <laughs> Given some Carter members, doesn't help, does it? <laughs> Just seems under the situ under the circumstances that he'd be like everybody versus the Canari, and they were fighting the Canari, but they're also hawks like, oh, you clock as an enemy to me, so I'll kill you too. Fair enough. Who would complain? Oh, elixir of heroism recipe. That sounds nice. I bet it is, honestly. Bass at the back there. Nice run away. How about you? Where is he? Where is he? It's too far. There he is. I'll deal with it. That's enough. Doing the best we can, folks. Now you fall. With the ah, I got a bloody sten. That's what the problem was. One more is vanquished. Never ending. I hope it I hope it doesn't blow up seven. Um You don't seem as badly injured as the others. The others? Surely they cannot all be. Rip. Untrust is grace. Beth No, Beth's all right. Wake up, Beth. Yeah, it's not where Beth's going to be dead. There you go. What were you thinking, child? I told you to let them take me. We had to do something. We couldn't just... 
it figures. <laughs> it's a Hawk family reunion. What's left of it? Yep. First Enchanter or Sino, you survive. Your relief overwhelms me, Knight Commander. No. Lol. There is no time for talk. We must strike back before it's too late. And who will lead us into this battle? You? I will fight to defend this city as I have always done. To control it, you mean? I won't have our lives tossed to the flames to feed your vanity. Now, now. You'll follow Sino, you'll follow Meredith. I will lead us, you fools. I won't have you two at each other's throats. I'm in charge. You! You're not even of this city. Uh, I live Neither here. Am I. <laughs> Yet I don't hear you complaining about us both fighting to defend our home. Very well, then. But whatever you plan, be quick about it. Why am I not surprised? Tell what? us. What's up with Beth? Does she hold, does she hold us responsible for uh, Mother's death or something? Was she being just randomly sarky there? Or was she like, ugh? I don't know. I couldn't tell. Um... Um, oh, Mike. Okay. I'll have a look in a bit, bud. Okay. I don't know if I can, uh, I don't know if I can give you a reference, buddy, but uh, I'll have a look at what they, what they want, but, um, what certainly. What is our course of action? Uh, not get killed. We need to be careful. No, we'll get into the keep. We need to find out why they're gathering hostages. An excellent choice. Let's move quickly. Indeed. Yeah, I'll, I'll see what you've sent me, uh, Mike. Uh, I mean, I'll go see different places want different things. Obviously, I was... Uh, um, I guess in the time where you did that Christmas at Iceland, I was a, technically a duty manager at the time. So, I think I was. So, obviously, I've never been your, directly your boss. I've... Uh, you know, we've obviously we've worked together. Sorry. Yes, yeah, so if that's good enough, of course there seems to be a great many Konari at the keep's entrance. Then they've already taken it over. Clearly, they've been planning this for some time. Perhaps we should have been planning ourselves. This is the only way in. We must assault them now before their numbers grow. Are you mad? They have hostages. We need a distraction. Decide quickly. We have no time. We need a distraction. Now's not the time for a distraction. Although maybe that's, uh... If we're trying to save the hostages, specifically, though. Let's hear what you have in mind, Orsino. We'll need to get you inside and catch up as soon as we can. And just how will we do this? Have confidence, Knight Commander. Okay. <laughs> ah, it's just like oh, that's fine um you will not conquer this city oh okay yeah no I'll, oh i can certainly give you a personal reference mike yeah no worries about that sir without a fight cerebos binicothus boom Right, he's going to try and draw them out. If he doesn't kill them already. <laughs> not bad. Not bad, Orsino. I think this situation might have been... Not more impactful, but kind of like have more meaning to us if we had previously up until this point actually if maybe not done any dealings with but if we just had like even in passing if we just met Orsino or we'd met Meredith this is literally the first time we're seeing them um but so be it mm. oh does it not cage okay well I'll see what you sent me Mike maybe it is, that's the thing it's up to them you know that's, like I say um I was uh, a duty manager for uh, a time at a place where Mike was um, 
were, worked water for a Christmas a seasonal uh, temp. But, you know, I could, he couldn't describe me as his boss. You know, I wasn't his boss in any way. Um, uh, but the other place before that, where we worked together for, like, a couple of years, we were both equals. We were, you know, I wasn't, um, you know, a duty manager there. But maybe it doesn't, Cage. Maybe it doesn't. Either way, I'll definitely do whatever I can for you, Mike. I'll have a look at it later, buddy. How you doing, Cage? You right, sir? trap got set off. <laughs> I was trying to avoid the trap. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, cool, of course, buddy. But uh, are they going to know what time uh, they're calling and when? Because obviously, if I'm in the middle of stream, <laughs> uh, that's, uh, you know, you know, it'd probably be easier if they could say, I call them, you know, but um, <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see what I'll look at the details after a stream. Um, well, let's say twice a blessed ring. Excellent. And the seal of Kirkwall. La di da. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, 41 attack. That's uh, a bit crazy. Yeah. But well, I think we can live without it. Um, anyway, let's have a look at these uh, rings. Uh, crit chance and damage. Alright, 13 defense, 1 armor, 2 health, regen. That's. Pretty good. I wonder if that might be better for Anders. Or maybe not. This has got his uh, extra stamina there. Um, <clears throat> what would we be losing? Um, the ornate ring. Or stamina and stamina regen. I don't think it's that great. Uh, maybe. Uh, what about for uh, Varric? Yeah, let's get give it to Varric. I see the one who's got seems to be getting slapped around at the minute a little bit. Um, Uh, okay, that'll do. <laughs> I mean, look, Af, he's, yeah, that's the most annoying thing about him. Every, he's very well behaved otherwise, but he's like, yeah, how many gun hawks? As, as many as me? Because I'm really great. He's trying to keep score. Yeah, I understand. I understand that. But you got to have a rogue. There's only two rogues. One one rogue has gone AWOL, so 
here we are. We're stuck with Varric. <laughs> um, what are we going to do, eh? Oh, wait. Was that... um? Okay, that's just a random guy. I thought I was like the seal of coat. Well, that wasn't uh, Dumas, was it? But no, it wasn't. Okay, a little auto save. Might need that. Here he is. Here is your Viscount. Oh. Oh dear. You dare? You are starting a war. Yeah. Look at you. Like fat doth Russie, you feed and feed and complain only when your meal is interrupted. You do not look up. You do not see that the grass is bare. All you leave in your wake is misery. You are blind. I will make you see. <sighs> Said every fundamentalist ever. But we have guests. Sinead on, Hawk. I expected you. And here but I am. For all your might, you are no different from these bars. You do not see. No, you do not say. See. I see a man who's ready to start a war on principle. And what would the Kunari be without principle? You, I suspect. Prove yourself, Basra, or kneel with your brethren. Okay. Let's go. Shera. You are Basilit An after all. Few in this city command such respect. So tell me, Hawk. You know I am denied Parvalin until the tome of Kazloon is found. How would you see this conflict resolved without it? I'm gonna kill you, mate. After this, what, do you, what else do you think is gonna happen? I believe I can answer that. Oh! Hello! God, look at the size of the freaking book. <laughs> My God. Uh, Gapul, how you doing there? Yeah, co close enough. Kind of. They're kind of similar in a way, aren't they? Far more scary. How you doing anyway, Gapul? You're right there, sir. Um, <clears throat> oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Seven. Yeah, guys, uh, Seven's been working on a little emote for me. She's like that. She's cool. Um be a very first animated emote of uh of the channel so i'm very excited about that uh yo scotty the book the good book have a look you can brain someone with it in a second which is seems appropriate uh <laughs> uh i'm yeah you good are you gapple yeah i'm good as well buddy are you familiar with uh dragon age at all anyway just walked into craziness i won't try and explain what's going on just go with the flow um yeah well they certainly don't they can't listen can they they might be, they're not able to read, but they don't listen. I'm sure you'll find it mostly undamaged. The Tome of Kazloon. That's what it you wanted. It took me a while to get back, what with all the fighting everywhere. You know how it is. You caused this, Isabella! No. Heroic acts of sacrifice. What will people say? This is your damned influence, Hawk. Indeed. I was halfway to Ostwick before I knew I had to turn round. It's pathetic. <laughs> Got them rub rubbing off on you, Isabella. And I don't mean like that, folks. Or make, you know, a little, a little bit of that. But... is reclaimed. I am now free to return to Parvalin with the thief. Uh, what? You thought you could strand them here for four years without consequence? 
She Good point. stole the tome of Kazloon. She must return with us. Um, I don't even want to give you the book. I think we should just kill them all, and we'll, we'll keep the book. We we'll, we we'll use it as a bargaining chip with the uh, with the Empire. They are, are they an Empire? The Canary? I guess they don't. They're not specific. Are they? Um, I mean it both ways, Seven. Um, he's waving it around, uh, Scotty. Didn't you see it? Um. um Yeah, they're going to execute or something. I agree. Take her. No. <laughs> We're going to punch her? We'll give her a little slap. Um. No, nah, there's no point. He's going he's gonna to insist, isn't he? So there's no point in... It doesn't matter what we say. You have your relic. She stays with us. I'm sure he'll take that well. Ravani, you might want to move a bit this way. Then you leave me no choice. I challenge you, Hawk. You and I will battle to the death with her as the prize. No. If you're going to duel anyone, duel me. You are not Basili Dan. You are unworthy. Uh, why not take the relic and go? Yeah, because the coon. The bloody coon. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if he's put it, he's put it in his pocket. He's put this gigantic book in his little pocket. Um, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I want to fight him anyway. I was, <laughs> I wanted to fight him regardless of, uh, the book or regardless of Isabella. Yeah, I'll, I'll fight you. All right. Let's start. This could be tricky, folks. I can't guarantee Brothers. I win this, but. So shall it be. Yeah, at least they're honorable in their own way, so. But uh, you said it's one on one, buddy. But is it really? <laughs> got ch got Choco Dog in here. God, he is. Uh, Must this. He's a chunky boy. This is for sure. And give us the tool to oh, he knocked you. his buddy over. <laughs> I love the fact that he's wheeled in two two handers. He's just that big. Um, are we distracted by uh, Isabella, the Scotty? Are you distracted by me? Either way. Uh <laughs> Just like that, is it? Must finish this. God, he's uh He's putting us to the test here, folks. I'll say that. I don't know if I can beat him. Let's not try and kite him for a bit. <laughs> he's like, I wanna fight you! Alright, no you're not. <laughs> oh, Arashok, go. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Sorry. Need to rest. How about you? Oh, there me. I like he's knocking his own buddies around. He's just like, this is just how it is. Oh, he's drinking potions too. Okay. Well, I mean, at least he's honest about it. But, uh, yeah, we're about to get yeeted, so I better, uh... Give him a little one of these. <laughs> the AR.
God, yeah, maybe I'll, I think we're bitten off more I can chew here. I was like, yeah, I'll buy you. He's like, eh, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, it's fine. I'll fight you. He's like, um, you got to admire his, you know, his confidence. He's like, you he knew he was going to win. Killed Choco Dog. Keep this up. Oh my god. And if he keeps if he's got infinite potions, I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat him. <laughs> yeah, Gapple, uh I don't remember this at all. He's uh I would assume I would have fought him, but he's currently kicking my ass. It seems like I can uh, effectively um kind of like avoid his attacks. Kind of. Sometimes. Not not like normal attacks like that, but get back. Ow. That's enough. Wee! <laughs> I don't remember doing this certainly before. <laughs> oh! Really? It's been stabbed right through the middle there. That's, uh. Thankfully, uh, Hawk's so badass, so that's just like, whatever. That was a bit wild. Anyway. I don't think Choco Dog's doing uh, too much. Mostly. Not his fault, obviously, but. Really? I don't know. I can't. Well, I guess it's too big for me to do that. But. I'm like under leveled or anything. I think we're like kind of on point for what level we are, but um, I'm using my heal move. I've got like a a move that actually heals you a little bit, but um, it looks like it uh, use a bit a chunk of stamina that I don't currently have. Can do it now. Uh, even more. There we go. Oh, really? How many of those have you had, Hawk? That's like the third one, isn't it? My God. Yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it, Hawk. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. 
At least he seems to have stopped uh, healing himself a little bit now. Which is uh, pretty thankful for. <laughs> I'm actually what all like, the NPCs, the onlookers are uh, thinking. Like Fenris and Varric are just sitting there like, looking at it, like, what? What's she doing? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Yo, Sween, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> the other, like, uh, the other Canary are like, what? <laughs> what is going on? Uh, Shock, Ibosit, Hizra. That's, yeah, that's what I was thinking, buddy. That's exactly what I was thinking. You missed, mate. I'm not over there. <laughs> oh. Ow. There we go. There we go. That's obviously uh, representative of the, what really happened. <laughs> One day we shall return. Yep. And then I'll kite let those around uh, some pillars as well, buddy. That's fine. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. They're, see, they are, for all their craziness and fundamentalism, they are. It also works against them. They're honourable. We had a duel to the death. I beat their boss. The rest of them are like, okay, we have to leave now. Is it over? Mm. It's over. The city has been saved. I mean, <laughs> aside from all the hundreds of people who are dead, yes, yeah, sure, and all the destruction. It appears Kirkwall has a new champion. Yeah, it looks like it. Wow, okay. <laughs> we got the job done. That's what matters. You seem confused, Seeker. The champion killed the Arashok in single combat? It just sounds so... romantic. Uh it wasn't, Cassandra. That's <laughs> the opposite. I say you developed a case of hero worship. <laughs> Why? Because I have respect for a woman who built herself from nothing? Mm-hmm. If you're telling the truth. If you are, then... What happened at the gallows may be far different than we assumed. I need to hear it. Let's say I tell you. Then what? Is the Chantry out for revenge? Is that what this is all about? No, it's not that. Then what about me? If what I tell you isn't what you want to hear, will you still let me go? I will let you go. Well, now we're talking. None of this is what I thought it would be. Really is, Tell Cassandra. me what really happened. Champion of Kirkwall. That was the reward. <laughs> Indeed, Aphelene. See how long that. <laughs> see how long a Canary's honor lasts when you are uh, kiting around pillars like that. <laughs> Champion their lives. She wasn't just a hero. She was now the most important person in the city. Except for Knight Commander Meredith, of course. With the Viscount dead, she stepped in to keep order. Oh dear. Things quickly got out of hand. Okay, I was wrong. This is the end of chapter two. Now on to chapter the three. Mages, the more they resisted, the more they resisted, the tighter she squeezed. After three years of that, it all came crashing down. Oh dear. Well, I guess this is three. Another time skip. Three years later, I guess.
So if the Canary problem's dealt with. Obviously, without that third piece of the puzzle keeping them in check, I know you the mages and the Templars are at each Knight other's Commander Meredith throats. uses that fear to take control of your city. True. She opposes every effort to replace Viscount Dumar. And you Does have she? seen the chaos of her reign. Will you allow it? Yeah. You'll see. Return to your homes. This farce is over. Wait! Perhaps there are some who might disagree with you, Knight Commander. Do not hide behind the champion. She has no role in this. Uh, maybe I could help. I can think for myself. Uh, <laughs> I like a good debate. I do, I do I like a good debate. Listening to or partaking. Um. Sounds like you two have quite the little argument going. This is not an argument. It's treason. I think the champion's views would be appreciated. Or do you fear what she has to say? I fear nothing. No. My only interest here is in keeping order and protecting the innocent. Um. God, lots of things. All oh, she knows is right. Neither of you is right. Meredith is right. Okay. Yeah, why is he popping off now? I guess it's that's obvious because it's gone. It's gone too far, hasn't it? Um. Uh, firstly, the first enchanter accused you of trying to take control of the city. The city. I am trying to keep order until there is a ruler capable of succeeding where Dumar failed. And if not, will the Looking Templars out? rule Kirkwall forever? Yes. We will not stand <laughs> idle while the city burns around us. The Templar Order exists to guard the Chantry and Circle. I suggest you let the nobility rule the city. I do not need you or anyone to tell me what my duty is, Mage. Ah, okay, so sorry, this is Meredith needs to step down. Yeah, she's clearly the power's gone to her head. Freaky looking sword she's got there. Uh, I will rule. That ain't gonna go down well, because obviously... Even if that's what we want, um, even if that might be for the best, um, that will uh, clearly be just that won't look good for us. It'll be just like, a, oh, they're just, oh, you're just trying to get power for yourself, and you'll be like, well, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Let the city decide. Let them have a vote. What do they want? If Kirkwall wants Meredith to step down, they'll tell her to. Are you mad? They fear her. Everyone fears her. I don't fear her. I'll slap her right now. I'll kite around this square right now. <laughs> um. Your measures have become more extreme over the last three years. And you could do better? Yes. How well did you guard your own mother? Did she not die at a blood mage's hands? Why don't you just stab me in the back while you're at it? Cold corpses speak louder than abstract freedoms, do they not? As long as that's true, mm. Kirkwall that. needs its Templars more than it needs a new ruler. And when will that end? When will you stop seeing evil in every corner? When it's no longer there. Maybe you two should wrestle, because there's no other way to resolve this. <laughs> you are naive, champion. You will find that not everyone bows to your will, Knight Commander. Then I will kill them all. Me. My, my. Such a terrible commotion. This mage incites rebellion, your grace. I am dealing with the matter. Ah, Orsino. So frustrated. Do you think this is truly wise? I... No, Your Grace. Of course not. Young men, would you show the first enchanter back to the circle? Gently, if you please. 
Your grace. He should be clapped in irons. Made an example of. That's enough, Meredith. This demeans us all. Surely you can see that. Go back to the gallows and calm down. Like a good girl. Ah! Told. Jog on, Meredith. You have my thanks for stepping in, champion. If you had not... I doubt sending them back to the gallows will end this. Sadly true. What are we going to do then? Gentle people of Kirkwall, return to your homes, I implore you. This will not be solved today. Indeed. And now I must attend to the gallows. They will see reason if the Maker wills it. Thank you again, champion. Boom, okay. Got some uh, level ups and such. Okay, so I guess we're in like the, the third chapter of the game. Uh, and I guess this, maybe this is Good maybe the, th the final chapter. I have to resolve the situation between the Templars and the Majors. I mean, let's get some uh, willpower. And we were looking at, yeah, here we go. Our um, battle master. So uh, transfer, threat transfer or uh, damage transfer. Uh, I guess threat would be more helpful. Or oh, we can also get unite. Um, Oh, it doubles the effectiveness of uh, Rally there. Let's um, get these first. Hmm. Transfer Enmity or uh, transfer Dam. Let's get Enmity first because that should potentially bring more enemies towards hawk we can use like whirlwind more often you know what i mean i'm trying to gather them together myself let's give it a go um varric uh we'll probably be switching you out assume isabella is back with us now um uh, it's uh good enough i guess um what that? Oh. Oh, let me get that. That's cool. Blindside. Extra 20% damage to us enemy, any enemies that are engaging other allies. Which, uh, especially with that extra enmity I've put on uh, Hawk. Then again, we're switching Varric out, so it really doesn't matter so much. All right, Fenris, let's round your strength off as well, young man. Um... Worried about Scythe, I guess. Going with on might the control, honestly. Let's get him that. Uh, Anders. Let's give you even more willpower. <laughs> he needs it. God, he needs it. There we go. And we'll get him that passive there. Right, let's uh, set up Fenris with that new ability. Okay, there we go. In fact, I'll just switch on that one there. Activate mode, uh, might, instead of control. I've, I've... So control gives you an accuracy bonus, but you don't... accuracy's not like, you know, you mostly hit things in this game, do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so I'd rather just do more damage. Uh, let's go with that. So, yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff to do. Yeah, and in fact, if you uh, look at the characters, I mean, yeah, Hawks just hit 19. But who knows what level will be by the time we finish the game. But we're not definitely not completing the game. Uh, the, we're not completing the game today now. That's that what's told me. So uh, that should alleviate our starting a potential new game for today, at least. So um, that helps. Uh Oh. 
know where we got that from, but I want to check uh, everyone else's gear, maybe. And I guess we'll switch in that superior greatsword there, because we're not fighting Canari now. I mean, there might be a few stragglers out in the wilds, but they're certainly we're not going to be fighting them that often now. Oh, what do I get these? Gauntlets of the Champion. Ow! Well, la di da. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I guess I never got the uh, stone hammer armor, but let's not worry about it, eh? I've probably got. You know, you still owe me five sovereigns, Elf. I'm good Does for he? it. So you think you can win the coin from Isabella? <laughs> good luck with that. Coming to the hanged man for wicked grace later? Never miss it. Yep. Yeah. Alright, have fun, guys. Um, let's look at our journal then. Yeah, did we miss the. Uh... Oh, okay, so we had to sacrifice those quests we didn't finish up, but never mind. Um, okay, so what's this? Random side quest. Uh, champion. Simply must help me. My daughter Orlana was abducted by foul bandits, as opposed to pleasant ba bandits. Uh, one of my servants has discovered she was taken somewhere in the wounded coast. I bid you make haste, for I feel these low-born scum, as opposed to high-born scum, uh, will take her maidenhood. Oh. Okay, is that that's your main concern? I guess it is a concern, not a maidenhood, but rapey rapers. God damn it. Um. Uh, that would make the arrangement of a suitable marriage for her very difficult. Oh, cause that's what he's really concerned about. Please return her to me intact. Wow, what an asshole. But still, we don't want... Uh, nasty things happening to people. Um, Gamelin has been alone since Mother died. Might be a good idea to check up on him at his home in Lowtown. And then we have a chat with Meryl, Varric, Anders, Aveline, Fenris, and Isabella. And, of course, uh, the main quest, Last Straw. Uh, first Enchanter Orsino is openly challenging Knight Commander Meredith's reign. The situation is growing more violent. There's a letter waiting for you from the Knight Commander that may offer more. Right, okay. Let us... Uh, and in fact, there's random stuff in the vicinity in Hightown here. So let's go pick these up first. What are you, what are you doing here, bro? I'm not racist, but also... And you've gone home. Many Canari fell in Kirkwall when we departed. I am sent to gather their swords. If you find a Canari sword, return it to me. Don't you want their bodies too? Uh, well, their the bodies are gone, long gone, aren't they? Purpose. <laughs> the weapons shall satisfy a demand of the Kune. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. You will find me here. Yeah, not gonna, not gonna go look yourself, are you, buddy? Obviously, that's that's the game, though, isn't it? <laughs> Who bear? For what? What? Are you chatting, Anders? Watch your lip, boy. What's Catastrophe has struck, partner. We are ruined. Ruined. Don't panic. Tell me what happened. A guard came back from the bone pit, half wrecked, with a dozen mangled bodies. My God, this freaking the bone pit. pulling the cart was the only survivor, <laughs> and it does not speak. Oh, really? The, the horse full doesn't of speak. Rotten mages, and not one can get answers from a horse. I'll check it out. You keep interrogating that horse. <laughs> I knew I could depend on you. Just like old times, partner. Right, okay. It sounds a bit sus to me, but... I ho Um...
Ah, the champion of Kirkwall. Your reputation precedes you. Forgive me. I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lanos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. Okay, let's not kick off straight away. Is there something I can help you with? I've come to you in search of aid. An elven assassin I have been chasing is loose in the area. Unfortunately, he's hidden himself among the local Dalish, no doubt playing on their shared heritage. He's a master <clears throat> manipulator who will endanger even his own kind to ensure his survival. Hmm. You don't seem the type to hunt assassins. Why are you after him? At first, it was merely duty to Antiva. But after losing so many good men to him, it became personal. He's nothing but a murderer, a thief, and a liar. Yeah, I mean, we, we know a little, uh, elven, Antivan elven assassin, don't we? Um... You want me to use my wily, wily ways to find mm -hmm. out where the Dalish are hiding this <laughs> elf? That is part of it, yes. This elf is very dangerous, and he must be brought in before he kills again. I've heard of your dealings with the Dalish. I was hoping you could go where my men could not. Find out where the assassin is hiding, and apprehend him. Okay, well, well I'll agree to look into it. Now, this is Zevran. Um... He only kills people who are coming after him. He's not just like, he isn't like randomly, he's not like a murdery murderer. He's just a, uh, you know, he's just a normal kind of murderer. I'll see what I can do. We shall see. One of the Dalish, a woman named Variel, is a friend of his. I suggest speaking with her first. We won't be here when you get back. We got a campsite outside the city. Look for us there. Right, okay. Um, the first things first, I think we should catch up with the, uh, I don't find it. the companions. Um, although, um, yeah, let's go, uh, let's go and get the letter. It was being sent to us from Meredith. She can wait. But we'll, uh, we'll just read the letter she sent us. That ruckus has been going on for some time. Can you calm him down? No. Not oh, this handle. Here we go. Champion, uh, I require your assistance in a matter of great urgency. Please report to the Templar Hall in the Gallows at your earliest convenience, Meredith. Um, you simply must help me. Oh, yeah, we've got that one. Uh, right, from Ella. Messiah Hawk. Um, if you don't remember me, we met briefly. I know it was the most important moment of my life. You changed so many lives that you probably can't keep them all straight. Uh, you rescued me from Sir Alric. Yeah, that scumbag. Uh, and you told me to leave Kirkwall. I wanted to tell you that I have. I went so I am now, but I'm free. I'm not looking back. I've heard the rumours. Terrible days are coming. I pray for your sa safety of your family and all the souls in Kirkwall, and especially for you. May Andras, they keep you safe from harm. Sincerely, Ella. Well, bless you, Ella. I appreciate that. A letter from Tavinta. Uh, dear Hawk. Or is it now Champion Hawk? Maybe Viscount Hawk soon? Uh, the story of how you handled the Arishok is very popular here. <laughs> and then Hawk kited the Arashok around two different pillars for m maybe as long as half an hour. Uh, <laughs> the Arashok got angrier and angrier. He even bumped into his own men while he was trying to hit Hawk, but uh, <laughs> eventually he ran out of healing potions and Hawk didn't. So Hawk was the winner. Uh, <laughs> Excellent story. Um, uh, there are a few things that the Tevinters love more than a tale of Kunari defeat. To say the Imperium is a strange place would be a vast uh, understatement. Men and women work magic in the streets while their slaves look on. I watched my own master kill a rival magister in a duel just days ago. I sometimes look around and think I understand the Templars back in Kirkwall. 
My studies are going well. My dreams don't trouble me as much these days. I'm hopeful that in time I'll master myself. I just wanted to thank you. I owe more than my life. I owe my mind and my future. Fainreal. Good on you, Fainreal. <clears throat> Letter in a fancy envelope. Ooh, fancy. Uh, Messier. Interest rates at the lowest are the lowest they've been in 200 years, making this a perfect time to take out a mortgage on your estate. The next Viscount will likely raise rates, and if you wait too long, the chance will pass you by. When the Chantry demands tithes on all high town estates, where will you be? I'll tell the Chantry to jog on. The leading house of uh, Tankum, Salma, and Grease can take you through the process of mortgaging your estate with ease and confidence, leaving you with nothing to do but admire your wealth. Speak to our accountant in the Dwarven Merchants Guild for a free consultation before time runs out. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll skip on that. I don't think I need that. Okay, well, the estate's looking uh, pretty much the same as always. What are you up to, buddy? I'm sure the furniture's very sorry for whatever it did, old boy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Please don't open the door. You've caught a burglar. Good boy. My legs are cramping. Please just let me go. Uh, sorry, who are you and what the freaking hell are you doing in my wardrobe, in my bedroom, in my house? You expect me to just let you walk out of here? Please, sir. I was seduced by a crime at a very young age, but your guard monster has scared me towards a path of honest work. It's the dungeons for you. Go fetch a watchman, boy. Go in to fetch the watch. Dogs aren't that smart. Right? Smarter than you, anyway. <laughs> How random. And Anders, what are you doing that... I wonder how much coin I'd make selling my memoirs. <laughs> That's what Varric's doing. <laughs> uh... Marana, you still here? It's been three years. I'm sorry about your mama. I will miss her. That's three years ago. Don't worry about it. Anders. For the maker's sake, draw the curtains. Do you know what could happen if the Night Commander spies catch two apostates talking? No. What? No wonder the demons found you such easy prey. Her ignorance will be what draws the Templars down on us. Uh, I have a gift for you. Do I? Well, if you're really worried about the Templars, have I got a deal for you? What is it? This key opens the cellars below the house here. You can get in from Darktown, if you ever need a quick escape. It means more than I can say to have had a partner these past three years. It makes me believe we can do anything. Yeah. Here we go. Meryl's gone now. It's been a while. Is Anders. this the best you can think to do? Ah! Chicka chicka bow wow. I mean, oh, oh, I didn't get to see anything that time. Our course is nearly lost. No, it's not. You need to calm yourself. Um. Enchantment. Um. So, can you not remove a rune? Once it's uh, in there. I need to order runes. I need to buy some runes. Oh, enchantment. Uh, I need to, um... I need to probably spend some money. We've got plenty of money now. It's really not an issue, I feel. Oh, Isabella. What, ran away again? 
Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Right, okay, yeah, we want to go see everyone. Let's start with Meryl. Oh, yeah, then we can get everyone equipped as well. That'd be handy. A bunch of cool Come stuff. Come on, Daisy. You've <clears> been holed <throat> up in here for days. <clears throat> if you don't get some sunshine, you'll wilt. I'm not a plant, Beric. I'm fine. <laughs> Just take a walk around the low town market. Get some air, and I'll stop bothering you. I know you mean well. But I have too much to do right now. He can't take a five minute walk. You talk some sense into her, Hawk. I'll try. Beric is very sweet. Frequently infuriating and a terrible busybody, but sweet. Were you looking for me? Nothing's wrong, is it? Of course I was. Nothing's the matter. I thought I'd see how you were doing. And I'm being a poor host, as usual. In the market the other day, <laughs> out of the corner of my eye, I thought I saw Tamlin. I blinked, and he was gone. I don't know what it meant. Maybe nothing. Maybe I'm going mad. I miss them all. Even the Keeper. So visit them. Um. Nothing is stopping you from going to see them. I made my choice. I left. Yeah, I wish I could have seen it. Go and say hello, I guess. It doesn't matter. I'm here now. Maybe Verrick was right. Shall we go out for a bit? I could use some sunshine. Yes, you could. gone on six years in this place and I still can't fix the holes in the roof uh, you're right um Right, let's get some uh, level ups over here, I guess. God damn, you got a few points up in here, haven't you? Still not friends with her though. After all, everything we've been through, that's unfortunate. I'll oh, do. Hey, <laughs> sleep, Mick. Yeah, we have. He's, he's kind of short, but that's fine. We don't we don't certainly don't judge. How you doing, bro? You alright? Oh, what should we I'm not really gonna use Meryl probably. For the most part. <clears throat> I might just get her stuff over here just because uh you know. Here it is. Um, I don't really know what to else to get for her. That's fine. Okay, I just wanted to uh, see if we can give any of this equipment to them. Or uh, double check for ourselves, maybe. I think we're all good though, ourselves. Wow, did we really not get any accessories on you at any point, uh, Avalyn?
a random belt from. There we go, that'll do. That's not going to be too fancy. It's just in case we get forced to uh, use her at all. There we go. Give that fancy, a very fancy sword there. Nice. Right, so let's look at these uh, shield. Excellent. There we go. Doesn't look like anything, but never mind, eh? Uh, so let's get Meryl a few bits. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we'll leave her with that. Um, Hmm, okay, we'll give her that. There we go. That's good enough. How are you doing, Slickmaker? Are you well, bro? <clears throat> I hope, uh, hope the fam's good as well. Oh, it's good to see you briefly, Meryl. Uh, okay, let's go to Hangman, see Varric, uh, see if Isabella's there as well, I guess. Run right away! I hear the champion of Kirkwall has killed a dozen dragons and sleeps on a bed made from their bones. And yeah. I hear she uses the Arashok's skull as a gravy boat. You really believe everything you hear, don't you? Yeah, that's not true. I'm, I'm right here. You can ask me. A face to forget, but do I know you, Canari? Talva Shoff, once of the Wounded Coast. I had left my fellows. You convinced me to turn on them. Oh, okay. Yeah, this it guy. It was long ago. I am now Maras, mercenary of Kirkwall. Time has been kind to your name, champion. Does Maras mean something? It means nothing. I have no role, except for what I choose. Is that good or bad? Neither. It just is. You available for hire? So, interested in some work? Yes, but not with you. No. Why? I do not work for those with titles. They do not have jobs, they have causes. When you stand for more, more stand against you. Uh, goodbye. Farewell then. Panahedan, Sira Hawk. Okay. Good luck, buddy. Because every time someone asks a stupid question, we string them up from the rafters. Uh. Funny. If you think that was bad, I should tell you about the Black Marsh. <laughs> See, when you say things like that, Blondie, it just makes me glad I didn't know you sooner. <laughs> Who goes to a place named Black Marsh on purpose? The hero no, for Elden? They called it Beer Marsh. No, still doesn't work. You've got a point. The marsh part does cancel out anything else. Flower Marsh, Kitten Marsh. <laughs> no, no good. Kitten Marsh. <laughs> ah, you've got company. I'll see you later. I think it's Jelly Anders. Mark, what can I do for you? Why was Anders here? Just chatting him up, I guess. Uh, what do you want me to drink? I wouldn't say no to a pint. I should make you buy the drinks, oh champion of Kirkwall. Yeah. <laughs> You've probably got more money than me, Varric. So, what's the word in Lowtown, Varric? Nothing you don't know already. The Viscount's departure, a vacuum of power, troubles brewing. Viscount's departure? That's the only problem with the time skip. They're talking about something that just happened. Do you know what I mean? Uh, what's the news? Oh, the the Viscount's departure. You, what, you mean the fact that the Arashok killed the Viscount three years ago? People are still talking about that. 
red and another appears. I'm starting to think this city's in love with Crisis. Hope you're ready for it, my friend. I'm keeping Bianca close. Okay. Not much to uh, add in there, Varric, but never mind. Oh, here you go. Oh, here she is. Up, you're making me cry just looking at you. Don't. <laughs> you made a mistake. It happens. What did you do? I almost killed a girl. You've killed 254 by my last count. Plus yep. about 500 men, a few dozen giant spiders, and at least two demons. It's not the same. Why? Because this one you feel bad about? Maybe that's the problem. What girl did Anders kill? Now than when she was a child. I think it's the lyrium in the water. I think you repeat yourself and say the same thing three year, every three years, buddy. Oh, that looks like the house special. Whiskey flavoured with rat droppings. You don't have to keep checking up on me. I'm fine. I'm just here for the rat-flavoured whiskey. Right. <sighs> Remember what you said after the mess with the Canari. I'm proud of you for doing the right thing. It may have been the right thing, but it was also the dumb thing. The relic was mine. I should have kept running. I couldn't have saved Kirkwall without you. Bullshit. You could have stormed the keep and slaughtered all those canari if you had to. Yeah. You and Aveline. I mean, look at her. She's a woman-shaped battering ram. <laughs> the fact is, you and I have nothing in common anymore. You're a champion. And I'm just a lying, thieving snake. Um. Whatever you think you are, I still care about you. It must have been hard to give up the relic, and I appreciate it. Whatever comes, you have my support. Well, perhaps it's time to stop hiding. And I do miss the trouble we used to get into. Tell you what, I'll be here if you need me. All right, yeah, just chill out. What's going on? Is she, like, just bent out of shape? Because <laughs> she did the, uh, the right thing. I think I need a bath. Do you think I need a bath? Yeah, probably. Is she coming with us now? Oh, she is. Okay. All right. Uh, there we go. Oh, she leveled up. Of course she has. Right. Okay. Let's round off her decks there. Let's try and... Probably wants more health, really, doesn't she? She doesn't get too squished. All, right, all hands on deck. Uh, ah, yes, because this when she's uh, there's lots of uh, people around. So we go. Oh, I got two, and he upgraded it. Stun chance, excellent. So we need to set a tactic up for that. Okay, so we go. Target. So Self. Uh, surrounded by enemies. At least four. To make it worthwhile. Use ability. Or hands on deck. And we probably want to put that right there. And that should be a uh, good to go. Oh, I'll probably want to check her gear as well, don't I? I don't know if we've got anything too fancy for her. Okay, we're switching the crit ring, I reckon. Uh, 
Um, yeah, we'll stick with that belt. Ah, tine, eh? Honey cuts, not good. <laughs> Thank you. Ryan! Check that. Indeed, a whole year. Bless you, sir. Ryan, you're one of our executive producers, sir. You don't also need to sub. But I will happily take it. You... <laughs> Bless you. How you doing, buddy? Uh, how's, your, how's your Friday so far? Is it going all right? Have you been busy? You've been up to much? Um. Oh, yeah. So I think what we... Yeah, we want to keep keep the stitch maker and switch in time as well, don't we? Yeah, tiny cut. Time for you to go. And probably want to go and look at some runes. There we go. She's good to go. Yes, yeah, so we want to go to the a store and switch in runes for people. Let's um, let's get to High Town. No, exactly, Ryan. I don't. Um, thankfully, it'd be a problem otherwise. <laughs> what's uh, what's Project Zomboid? Ryan. I know you might not have streamed recently, but uh, obviously that is uh, something you've you uh, played at some point. Must I? I yep. see Templars trying to control what they have good reason to fear. But they go too far. Talk to Hawk about her mother. Ask her who went too far. You can't hold all mages responsible for that. It doesn't take all mages to cause this. Only the weak ones. Hmm. Right, let's see uh, what runes we could get. I don't know which are... Get these in some kind of order. It's not telling us what they do. Nature resistance, defense. Oh, increases crit chance, eh? Rune of Impact, physical damage. That sounds nice. But yeah, it's like, I don't know. How do you determine which ones are better than the others? I don't know. In fact, I don't even know who needs what runes, honestly. Let me have a look. How many runes do I need? Okay, that doesn't need a rune. Um... Put runes in armor? You can. So I need to, uh, two runes, um, two armor runes. <laughs> Thank you. Swain? Same with you, Swain. Bless ya. You guys. Thank you. It's a painful addiction, is it, Ryan? Zombies that try to bite you, and there's a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that sounds like a, a typical zombie game, but you know, that's not, never, that's never really a bad thing. Bless your swing. Thank you. Bless you both. I do appreciate the support. Right, so I need, um, two weapon runes for Isabella and two armor runes for Hawk. Let's see what would be uh, most appropriate then. Uh, so the rune of protection adds armor directly. The stat of armor. All right, so you've got elemental resistances or defense. Uh, that seems to be better than the armor though. So <laughs> maybe that's the one we should go for. Um, okay, so we'll go for two defense runes. Uh, a, we a weapon rune that increases critical chance. Now, obviously, as Isabella is designed to do, you know, have the highest crit rate and do more crit damage than anybody else, I think we'll go for two of those. And God, runes are cheap. I didn't realise how cheap runes were. Now, there's probably better runes in the future, because look. There are uh, resources there. 
because we're still missing two Lyrium, one Silverite, and one Oracle Alchem. It's just to me maybe we're on track to get them all. Um, but the Dragon's Blood. So there's going to be the highest level runes you can make are going to require that Dragon's Blood, presumably. We need to empty out the veins of a dragon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> uh, but they'll do for now. I don't know that there's any way to remove runes from your weapons, though. And this can just sw you have to switch them in and out. Um, so on that note, I'm going to sell a load of junk now. Like, all of this, I guess. Right, I'm just going to um, have a clean reset. Let's get rid of all of it. Boom, there we go. I wonder if there's, uh, I've missed any, um, oh, damn. I guess we're at the point of just, uh, buying, uh, whatever in a way. Limb taker. That's pretty freaking amazing. Will we find better though? I'm inclined to um, not. Maybe we. I won't. I won't all save our money for now. Oh, Perrin's nail. Okay. Uh, I don't know. If there's, I thought there's a dagger at first. It's not. Um, and then as we get the the chapter starts to draw to its conclusion, I'll uh, come and buy something. Oh, a canary sword. I need to get one for that guy, don't we? Uh, of course, we've got the tomes we could be buying. I wonder if I've missed out on getting one of these each chapter. I don't know. I don't want to stress it too much. Hmm. Well, well, well. There's a, a freaking loads of cool stuff. Let's boil the potions up, yeah? That's really what else around what else was going on. Robes. Not a thing we need. Extra backpack, though. Yeah, I wonder if I like, missed one of those previously, but... So be it. Um, I think there's any more stores around here. No. Okay, let's go see Fenris in his house, see what he's been moaning about. There you go. Well, I've got a sword for you. Have you located any Canari blades? This is what I found. Do you require gold for this task? <sighs> no. So I know you'd just be a bitch if I... Yeah. I'm not doing this for the money. Very well. I'll take the... Uh, take the high road there, folks. Uh, got, okay, so uh, Hawk got a little level up there. It's just attributes, isn't it? Three points. Nice. Let's go... Um, more willpower. I guess there's more stamina. Um, yeah, let's go see Fenris. Jesh! All right there, Jesh. How you doing, buddy? The swimming. <laughs> the swimming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, guys, if you don't know Sween, she's going to be doing her uh, debut stream at some point in the relative near future. It's probably a few weeks away yet, but uh, Do you know that into winter, keep an eye out. For each slave sold. No. No, I didn't know that. I probably could have guessed, though. You don't need to be weird about it. Um. Ah, oh, interesting, Ryan. So it's like super in depth. Uh. Ah. Oh. Okay. I wonder if. 
it sounds cool that le like level of uh simulation but i wonder if it's a little bit too much micromanagey I I don't stick out oh, we're gonna stick you in in a minute mate right now how are you doing jesh you all right how's your how's uh how's your day going so far buddy i'm doing for time i might go and make coffee in a second i know it's not it was like we can just start the stream, but... Yeah, I don't think there's anything to steal in Fenris's house. My God, he could have tidied up the place. He's been here six years. Seriously, bro. Not impressed. Are you certain it's her? An elf matching your description on the ship you named. And alone, as far as I could tell. I need to know if it's a trap. I did as you asked, Fenris. Now it's up to you. This is you mysterious sister. I've had my fill for today. Yeah, he's a bit like that, isn't he, Aveline? Then he is fast of us. Swearing won't accomplish anything. <sighs> it's my sister. I didn't tell you, but I followed up on Hadriana's information. Everything she said was true. I had to keep it quiet, but I eventually contacted Verania and sent her coin enough to come meet me. And now she's here. She was in Carinus after all. My sister left Magister Araman's service, and I found her in Minrathus. That made things more difficult. But according to the men I paid, it's just as Hadriana said. She's not a slave. She's a tailor, in fact. Getting a letter to her was difficult, and she didn't believe me at first. But she's finally come. You're worried Daenerys knows? The more it seems he doesn't know, the more certain I become he does. Mm. Come with me, Hawk. If this is a trap, I need someone who can fight to back me up. Sure. Where is she? If we go to the Hanged Man during the day, she'll be there, for the next week at least. I know you owe me no favors, but if we happen to go there anyway... Yeah, it'd be fine. I bet it's not a trap. I bet it's literally just his sister. And then it's gonna it's gonna be like weird and awkward. It can't be as disastrous as when Alistair met his sister in the first game. <laughs> She's like, Oi! Give me money. And you're like, what? I'm your brother. Yeah, that's why you should give me money. What a bitch she was. Uh <laughs> Um Who have we uh not seen yet? Uh, Anders in his clinic. Um, catch up with Aveline. Oh, let's go see Aveline briefly. Oh no, let's let's, uh, let's wrap up uh, Fenris's sister. As we just picked him up there. Now, if it is a trap, then we, then yeah, we have to have a fight. Uh, it's probably not though. It's going to be like really weird and awkward. She's going to be like, hey, Fenris, nice to meet you. And he's like, I'm a slave. And she's like, well, that's It really is, you. Oh, here we go. Verania? I... I remember you. We played in our master's courtyard while mother worked. You called me... Leto. That's your name. What's wrong? Why are you so... Yeah, it is a trap. It's a trap. Ah, my little Fenris. Predictable as always. This is the Daenerys. I'm sorry it came to this, Leto. You led him here. Now, now, Fenris, don't blame your sister. She did what any good Imperial citizen should. I never wanted these filthy markings, Daenerys. But I won't let you kill me to get them. <laughs> How little you know, my pet. And this is your new mistress, then. The champion of Kirkwall. Quite lovely. No, take him. <laughs> we can, he's no one's slave. We can negotiate. Time to die. Let's fight. A fight to the death. Let's go. Yes, Ryan. That's the, what we're doing. Uh, Af, go to take care of your appointment. Uh, we are wasting no time. He's good. I'm not gonna, why are we negotiating with this idiot? Yeah, Jesh. Yeah, Ryan. Let's kill. Kill, go kill. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh, he's running away. 
You running away? You running away? I can't even attack him at the minute. <laughs> Weird. Never mind. Well, there ain't no arrow shock. Let me say that. Anymore? Oh, demons now. I love that like Anders is just like stood next to him and he's just stood there with his arms crossed. <laughs> it's quite funny. Okay, now we can fight him. Okay, now we can't. Out of range. And now we can. Oh, he's teleporting around. You're on your own, buddy. What are you going to do? Get yeeted. Shank him up, Fenris. You are no longer my master. Nice. I had no choice, Leto. Yeah. Stop calling me that. You he was always going have to a choice. make me his apprentice. I would have been a magister. You sold out your own brother to become a magister. Your sister's a mage. You bloody hypocrite. You really are just jealous. You have no idea what we went through. What I've had to do since mother died. This was my only chance. Hmm. And now you have no chance at all. Please, don't do this. Please, tell him to stop. Okay, so we can stop him. Or we can be like, <laughs> egg him on. You deserve to die, bitch. Uh, I don't think I could do either of those, honestly, folks. It's his call. His sister. No, really, I'm just don't think, I know, if, um, if I lived in, like, you know, Nazi Germany... And to the SS were like, yo, Isnib, we're after your brother. And you've got basically two choices. We can, you can help us stitch your brother up and we can, or, you know, and, and if you do, we'll give you money. We'll, you know, we'll give you a fancy house. You have some nice stuff and you can just like chill and enjoy your life. Or you can refuse and we'll just whack you in prison or, or kill you or who knows what. I wouldn't betray my brother. I'll tell him to jog right on. Um, you don't think he's actually going to kill her anyway, Jesh? Um. <laughs> Very good, Ryan. Very good. This is true. So maybe I'll just be like, oh, yeah. I'll tell you where he is. <laughs> do, I, do I get the house? <laughs> oh, well played, sir. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, I... Whether, whether it's right or wrong for Fenris to kill or not kill his sister or whatever he decides to do, it's not it's not our place to say. It's not my place to tell someone else how they should deal with betrayal. It's for them to decide. Hey, I'm a neutral party here. I would have given you everything. Oh! <gasps> 
Be kiddo. I thought discovering my past would bring a sense of belonging, but I was wrong. Damn. Magic has tainted that too. There is nothing for me to reclaim. I am alone. You're blaming magic. Again, he's always blaming magic. For the past behind you. Get used to it. Um, All good options. You're not alone, though. Seems the most important. You are buddy Fenris. And, you know, we, you know, we could have, um... We could be more than friends, but you're you sticking them out. But anyway, that's not his fault. Uh, you have friends. Oh, and who would those be? You. You want me to punch you in the face right now, bro? Sure isn't me. You want me to punch I you in the face right now? Clean, like this magic is not only etched into my skin, but has also stained my soul. And now this. Let's go. I need to get out of here. Wow, Fenris, you're pissing me off a bit, mate. You got you got friends. He's like, who? I haven't got any friends. Are you my friend? Oh, Fenris, check yourself, son. Anders, you need to shut up as well. Oh, he's still got a bit of uh, still got a little bit of a uh, friendship bonus with him. Not that it matters because he's our extreme rival. Now, uh, oh, what's this? You got that for doing it? Oh my freaking lord! Lordy, lordy. Insane armor that's like freaking <laughs> twice as good as what we're currently wearing. Okay, I guess we'll go with that. It looks pretty cool as well. Nice. My god. Uh, it doesn't have a, a rune slot in it, but that doesn't matter. That does remind me, though, that we need to, um... I don't know how you live the way you do. Blithely ignoring the consequences of your actions. This is about the canary thing, isn't it? I'm not ignoring it. I just recognize that it happened years ago. There's this fantastic thing called moving on. You should try it sometime. No. Has it occurred to you that Kirkwall is only just recovering from the canary attack? And you want me to... What? Flog myself daily? Has it occurred to you that maybe there's no justice in the world? Other than that voice you keep in your head. Yeah. Gone off into say about that, Anders. All right. Uh, as we're just passing through, we're going to just pop in and see uh, Uncle Gamlin. Let's see how he's getting on. 24 hour stream, Jesh. Uh, <laughs> once, uh, I, think it was, I think it was last year, wasn't it? It was just over a year ago. I did a 15 hour stream. That was way too much for me. I know some people do more. Some people are badasses. I'm not. So you've done well for yourself. I had my doubts the first time I saw you, but I guess there was something to that hawk fellow Leandra ran off with after all. You certainly produced an amazing daughter. Your mother would be proud. Yeah, yeah this is surprising. I miss mother. Yeah, indeed. I don't trust you, Uncle. He seems sincere. Let's crack a Uncle joke. Uncle Gamlin, was that affection? I'm feeling sentimental. With Bethany locked in the gallows, you're the only real family I have left. For a long time, I thought the Amel line in Kirkwall would end at me. I'm glad you pulled it out of the grave. Oh, okay. Well, oh, okay, that's far more pleasant than I thought it was going to be. All right. All right, buddy. Okay, that was the end of it. Just have a little chat there. All right, yeah, I need to head back to um, our house and uh, our estate and uh, get um, Sandal to sort these runes out for us. That's what I need to do. So you engaged a Kunari Dreadnought in battle? They engaged me in battle. I was just trying to get away. Sailing into the storm was a gamble. Took care of the Dreadnought, but it did us in too. Can't win them all. Where I come from, we would call that insanity. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. No. Respect. I like that. That piratey attitude.
Right, okay. Estate, sort out of the runes. Yeah, I think I'll uh, take a, my three minute break now, guys, and make coffee. And we'll get back. A few things to tidy up. I was going to. And a bloody Anders, Isabella as well. Either you're the champion of Kirkwall. Seems everyone wants something, don't they? Oh. Mr. Samuel would have been very proud. Indeed. Oh, Bianca has a, uh, a rune slot as well. I didn't realise that. Eye of the Storm. I don't know if I picked that up. I don't know. But, um... Got too many here. Anyway, I need to maybe make some more runes for all the rest of these, but... Never mind. Okay, so, uh, right, there we go. The Rune of Strikings plus 4% crit chance. Nice. Oh, can you, you can't double up, can you? Oh, replace an existing rune will destroy it. Okay, I'll see. Right, and the Stitch Maker. There we go. Ah, so I think the benefit you get from it is maybe relative to the... To the, uh, the piece of gear, maybe. There we go. Ooh, enchantment. Right, okay, as we're here, we'll see what uh bloody hell Isabella and Anders want when we get back. I'll be three minutes, guys. Bear with, I'll be as quick as I can.
Ooh, oh my god. Why am I yawning? Terrible. No need for that. Anyway. Alright, what's going on, Isabella? Oh, look who's here. Time to change the locks again. <laughs> I knocked this time. Bodan let me in. Guess what? Castillon's in town, and I'm not waiting around for him to stick a knife in my vitals. We're going to get him before he gets me. Not everything is about you. This is true. Uh, if you think he's that intent, okay, let's get let's nip him in the bud. One, uh, well, I'll say nip him in the bud. It's been like six years, but <laughs> uh, you need to get rid of him. That rule has served me well. Unfortunately, Castillon's holed up somewhere in Kirkwall. I haven't been able to find him. I do know where Velasco is, however. That's his right hand. We just have to make him tell us where Castillon is. Somehow. I have ways of making people talk. <laughs> That's not going to work. You'll just end up killing him. Mm. We'll have to think of something else. Couldn't we just ask Velasco where Castillon is? Nicely. He's not going to reveal anything willingly. I can't risk him getting suspicious and alerting Castillon. Castillon wants you. Why not let Velasco bring you to him? And you follow me. Ooh, that's clever. Mm. I was going to suggest challenging Velasco to a riddle game and making Where's Your Boss one of the riddles. <laughs> this is so much better. Okay. I'm ready whenever you are. Velasco's been spending his nights at the brothel, enjoying its many splendors. That's where we'll find him. Fifi. Thank you for those bitties there. How are you doing, Fifi? You need to do that. Uh... Yeah, oh my god, Ryan, they do. They're always at each other's throats. Nobody gets along. How you doing, Fifi? You all right, my dear? Oh, sorry. I've just come back off a little break. I'm just... Uh, didn't stretch it properly. <laughs> How is it going? How's your new PC? Is it well? Uh, what the, what's Anders got for us before we head out? I need your help again. Oh, but, I, of course, privately, of course you do. in my clinic. Ah, okay, I'll see. Oh, okay. I'll see Anders. Hey, Fifi, how you doing? You all right? Decisions, eh? God, we've got all sorts of things. Um, let's, um... Is that the one on the loose? Must be in the gallows. Well, I'll we'll be up in the gallows. Let's go. You love it? Yeah, I'll bet you do. I bet you do. That's like a decent PC. If you look after it, it will serve you for like, you know, 10 plus years. Do you know what I mean? So, good on you. I'm pleased. Oh, no, that's, uh, oh, that's to speak to Meredith. Oh, Meredith can jog on. Uh, oh, of course, she just even, she even just said he's hanging out in the brothel. I mean, I guess you can take that as a positive that I don't know where that is. <laughs> I know how to get there. But <laughs> but it's not like it, I know, it's not like it's, I've, got them, I've got them on speed dial or anything, you know. Um, excellent, Fifi. Uh, yeah, how's work and how's life treating you, my dear? Are you all right? I hope you're well. Rudy today. Does it bother you? Should I stop? No, don't stop. But could you add some smoldering to the routine? Just <laughs> <for> me. <laughs> Smolder? Oh, and while you're at it, perhaps some cold insolence. You want me to smolder and be cold at the same time? 
Those don't go together. No. Shush. Don't distract me with your logic. <laughs> oh, Isabella. She's, she's funny. Um, you're at work, but you're falling asleep. Now, is that because it's so boring? There's nothing going on. Can you get away with, like, being asleep? <laughs> I guess. Probably not. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I guess that's a good thing. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. You tell me, Fifi. <laughs> but I'm very well, my dear. I'm very well. I uh, cannot complain. We're having a good time of it. I feel that the year's gone by a bit too quickly. Particularly the summer. I can't believe we're at the end of August already. 2022, eh? Weird old year. As if uh, as if the past years before that weren't weird. But here we are. That's his nope. room over there. Are you ready? Yes, I think so. Now, this needs to be convincing. And you'll need to get creative. Call me names, even hit me. Stick with it, no matter what I do. Velasco's a clever son of a bitch. If you waver, he'll notice. Yeah. Yeah, I can... <laughs> You're joking, Isabella. I've been wanting to slap you in the face for the past six years. Uh, <laughs> um, it's been a... <laughs> uh, you've had a, a mad busy week, have you? Oh, my God. Knackered. Yeah, sometimes it's like that. I don't know if it's like... Obviously, some jobs are like slow, where you're just like waiting around. You're not... Uh. I generally found that 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 is not fun, but uh, just being destroyed because you, you, the advantage of when you're working like really hard like that, your days typically go real, real quick. But um, of course, the issue is uh, you're just physically destroyed by the end of the week. Um, this will be fun. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> just no nonsense. I like to crack jokes, but uh, yeah, let's go that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm. She's been a bright pain in the ass. She's that like Isabella's like uh, our spirit animal. Well, she's an animal. She's a bit animalistic, but <laughs> our, our spirit animal of this uh, playthrough. It's all of your companions are whiny little bitches at one point or another. Apart from Varric, Varric's good, but um, she. That being said, she s does get on our tits a little bit. She's like, she's very selfish. She's very uh, um, I don't know. You always get in trouble, but yeah. I'll make it convincing, not to worry. Uh, now you're making me nervous. Yeah, you like Whatever it. Whatever you do, just make sure he takes me to Castillon. I'll leave a trail for you to follow. Okay, Let's seems go. iffy, but I think you and Isabella can handle it from here. Yeah. Okay. You two stay there then. Okay. Sorry to interrupt there. What? The... Get back here, you. Skip this bit. <laughs> I hope you have a good reason for interrupting my private time. I brought you a new plaything. She's much less timid. Are you insane? Uh. You should see the look on your face. This wasn't the plan. We were going to kill him. Remember that time you ran off with the Tome of Coslin? This is like that, only funnier. <laughs> you backstabbing little shit. You'd better start sleeping with one eye open. Okay. I don't need to smack her. That's good, I guess. Castillo will be pleased. He's been looking for Isabella for some time. A token of our appreciation. It's more than she is worth. To the rest Three then. gold? Short, talk about short changing us. This guy's been after Isabella for six plus years. Apparently sparing no expense. And this guy's like, three gold. That'll cover it. 
That's worth more than she is. Shut up, you little liar. I'm just going to kill him just for that. Oh, my God. I don't like. Um, all right, so we better take uh, Mr. Varric with us because we're currently rogueless. Dwarves are irresistible. I can't help it. Yep. Dwarves? This guy's, uh... You notice how he said that as we walked by? I think you pulled Varric. Here you coat. This appears to be good. Mind you, I imagine demand is fairly constant. Indeed. Looks like the trail Isabella left. What is it? Glowing sparkles. This is the game being lazy again. It's still hard to think of this as my home. Nobody cares, Anders. No offense, buddy. The trail leads to Lota. Oh. Well, I mean, you probably could have guessed that, couldn't we? Probably could have guessed that. She had a, a large pocket full of these shiny sparkles, wasn't it? Oh, hello, hello. Go down there. Follower of she. Hey, hey. Interesting. Who or what is she? Indeed. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Fifi. You need to do that. Indeed, Cage. That is the that's the name of the game. Dragon Kill 'em All Age. Um, what's your Fifi? Gone to Steph as well. Who is the person who's chucked more gift subs on this channel than anybody else? So it seems appropriate. Bless your Fifi. Thank you. Not, don't need to do that. I'm just um happy to just uh, have you here for a, minute, a few minutes. Justice doesn't let me get drunk anymore. I kind of miss it. You need to extract justice from you. Oh, here we go. I don't know if he's going to the hanged man there. Oh, no. Let's finish this! Ah! Oh, now you fall! Go down! 
Who on earth or what on earth is she? The followers of she. Curious. I'm sure we're going to find out before long. Well, either way, they don't like us. All right, random canary sword, eh? Bless you. Well, I hope Steph appreciates it. I'm sure she will. You'll die screaming. I'll deal with this. Yes. Yes, I do. You already know this, Farrick. Results are much needed. There we go. We're going to Dark Town now, presumably. Isabel is leading me to the docks. Oh, the docks. Okay. Well, thank you for the lurk. You manager's back. <laughs> Fifi, what a gem. I don't know that she uh, streams that often, guys, because obviously she's uh, busy with work, real life, all the rest of it. But uh, do keep an eye out for her. Uh, I, you know, she is uh, she's rather wonderful. I'm trying to think how I met Fifi. Did she just randomly find our stream one day? I think she might have, actually. Kill them! Go down! Just for the slavers, not necessarily rapers, but... A tra okay, we're back on a trail. Go. All these uh, shinies she managed to uh, leave for us. Okay. Estion's Landing. There you go. I mean, if you're going to name the place after yourself. <laughs> I guess we'll go around this way. Um. <laughs> Why don't we work something out? If you're good, I'll tell Castillo to go easy on you. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I do have standards. <laughs> you're going to do whatever I want. I own you. <laughs> 
Yeah, we better stay hidden till Castillon sure gets guess here, I guess. You! I knew the beats was up to something. Kill them! If you want. Here we go. Velasco sent word to Castillon. He's on his way. Okay, so we just need to chill Let's here for a minute. around first. I want to know why he's in Kirkwall. Um, yeah, I need to switch up with the party. <laughs> Good to go. Bottle of aged and even brandy. Okay, that sounds good. Such a slave driver. Ambrosia? What is this? The Felicie Dosaria, commonly known as the Silent Plains Rose, is to this day the only plant found growing on the Silent Plains, which were tainted by the blight a thousand years ago. As mentioned in the section on the rare flowering plants, Felicidus, sorry, Felicidus, Felicidus aria is not technically a rose. Its flowers do exude a sweet rose-like scent. The flower is rare, is in danger of becoming extinct because of its value in the creation of ambrosia, which is distilled from the root of the plants. Uh, doesn't these plants go into the making of just one vial? Some say that the wives of the most powerful Tevinter Magisters once used ambrosia to perfume their baths in a vulgar display of wealth. Okay. If we just collected some. Maybe. No. Codex entry regarding it. Velasco, you're a bit whatever. The, the paring knife, eh? Is that any good for you, uh, there, Isabella? Yeah, oh god, yeah. After I'd already gone and put the, uh, the rune in the new dagger there. You're yeah, not as good as Tyne. Um, so she's. Missing the crit damage, crit bonuses. But overall, this base, uh, you know, damage is good enough. And so uh, we'll have to go for it. All right, nothing over there. Oh, he's going on those traps they set up. Probably treasure over there, right? It's gotta be. Yeah. Now you crazy kids should just stay there. That's on me. There you go, it's fine. Right, a couple of uh staves. A ring and a belt. And we've got a bunch of gold as well running through there. Um, hmm, okay, not terrible, but I need to, I think we need to freak out. Oh, oh, oh yeah, Anders, check that out. Nice upgrade for you there, little buddy. Right, okay, now we've looted the place. 
Let's get back down here and uh Right, so uh, Velasco's and his buddies are dead. Castillon is on his way here, so I guess we just wait in ambush for him. All set. Incriminating documents, eh? So Castillon's looking to expand his slaving business. Lovely. Why am I not surprised? The city guard will find these documents. Very interesting. And oh. Velasco told me you were all tied up. A lovely present just waiting to be opened. I see he's paid for that little mistake. What a pretty smear he makes. <laughs> well played, Isabella. Crossed and double crossed. You want to talk? Maybe we should talk about these documents. Slavery in the free marches? They're not going to like that. Get to the point. Give me your ship, and your word to leave me alone, and you can take these papers and go. Yeah, what's his word worth? Can you trust him? He trades people for money. Castillon's a businessman, and this is a business deal. He'll keep his end of the bargain. Don't you want to just kill him, though? If you want the ship, can't we just kill him and take it? You don't just kill a man and take his ship. That's crude and amateurish. How will he tell everyone how I bested him if he's dead? Why can't you surprise me in a normal way? With flowers, maybe, or a cake? <laughs> I see I wasn't the only one played today. Give me the documents, and you can have the ship. And you will never hear from me again. Swear it. I swear it on my mother's grave. Give me the documents. I mean, if that's really it's Isabella's problem, if that's really how she wants to do it. I mean, as I still think it'd be safer just to kill him. I'm not going to be like, oh, he's a slave, I'll kill him. But this is like more of a her problem. You've made your decision, Isabella. Do as you wish. I just don't regret it. The ship is yours. Let me say, my dear. That you would make a remarkable ally for any man able to tame you. Our business is hereby concluded. Forever. Be well, Isabella. Okay. She made him out to be like some kind of psycho. This is going to come back to bite you. You know that, right? He likes it. I've got the fastest ship on the ocean. It's got to catch me in order to bite me. If you're looking to sail off, I think the sun sets that way. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Yet. I owe you all this, you know. I've got a feeling something big's about to happen. Knowing you, you'll be right in the middle of it. I wouldn't miss that for the world. Come on. All right. So she's hanging around for a little bit. Is that, <laughs> is that the game saying, yes, this is Isabella's storyline. She's leaving, but uh, not until you complete the game. <laughs> that's the that's the impression I got anyway. Oh, okay, well, that is it. Oh, okay, well, fair enough. What have we got next? Okay, going to speak to her again in the hanged man. If she's changed her mind, I don't know. Yeah, she made Castillon out to be some psychopathic killer. And he's like, oh, he seems like a, he's a rogue, but kind of like a um, very pragmatic businessman. Yeah, you know, criminal businessman, but still. Punchy. 
You... you're here. Good. I... wanted to talk to you. What now? So, when do I get the grand tour? Haven't you already... Oh. <laughs> not that grand tour. It's not fit to be seen. Castillon had an obsession with mustard-coloured satin. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Saves me the trouble of having to go look for you. I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. I'm glad you walked in here all those years ago. I can't see the sea, Isabella. I was drawn in by the intoxicating aroma of stale piss and vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Now that I have my ship, I'll need a new crew. And I'd like to have someone like you on board. What? Someone I can really trust. Who has my back, no matter what happens. That sounds great, Isabella. But if it's your ship, you're the captain. And there's no way I'm taking orders from you. Um, Maybe we could... Rebel and take over a ship. I do want to be a pirate. I guess, um... What about Anders? Yeah, what about Anders? Uh, <laughs> uh, do we have other commitments? Not really commitments. I, I've played uh, Hawk in, in this playthrough very much kind of... Try and be nice to people and be honourable. Also take no nonsense. But I haven't felt any, like, allegiance to any, like, faction or even the city. I'm just like after power, essentially. So I guess I am a psycho in that regard. I don't know. Um, maybe we can steal a little ship from my. I don't know. Exploring the world and getting away from all this. I'm game. <laughs> It'll be just you and me in the ocean. No, we need a crew. Oh, and a couple dozen hands, but yeah. they don't really matter. They don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> they say in Lomeran that a true friend is as constant as the Northern Star. Never put much stock in that saying till now. Okay, well... I'd say we'd take Fenris and Anders, but... God, they... Never get any peace and quiet. I uh, hear the champion of Kirkwall's killed a dozen dragons. Maybe get Varric. on a bed made from their bones. And I hear you. Can bring Meryl, maybe? Oh, sorry, I'll wait. I want to decide what we're doing first. Right, okay, now we're... Let's have a look. What have we got next? Uh, Aveline. Let's go see Aveline. It's been a while. She might not be too happy about how we, um... How we handled the canary thing, but... I kind of acts. Oh, no, I did... Oh, there was an accident, wasn't it? I was all set to say, eh, screw the elves. But I kind of accidentally said, we've got to deal with the elves. So maybe she's not upset. I don't know. You still support the night commander i don't care a fig for her but she's the only one holding back the madness in this city <laughs> holding back she's howling at the bloody moon <laughs> even her own people think she's lost it what will it take for you to see that she's crazy mages in glass houses shouldn't throw fireballs mm. guardsman Duties for the week will be low town canvas. Five on, three off. City perimeter by twos. Clear by second watch. Training recruits full metal by week's end. Anything else, Captain? No. Thank you. She's got them whipped in order. Donick is a good man. Oh. I'm sorry, was there something you wanted? You never said how your three weeks in Orlais went. You're right. I didn't. <laughs> oh, shivery. <laughs> Anything else? Your men could give the Templars a run for their sovereigns. They've had to. As long as there's no Viscount, the Order thinks they can bark at any man in uniform. I won't have it. The people of Kirkwall need to see themselves in their guard. Lose that connection, we're just targets. 
Kirkwall seems to have rallied around you. And then some. I try to keep order, and people appreciate that. Everything else is going insane. Mm. A few complaints here and there, but for the most part, I think everyone's just glad the guard has been stable for a few years. Right, okay, cool. Yeah, indeed. Agreed. Agreed, Aphelene. You did an excellent job, my dear. What's, so what's going on? Just checking in. Need anything? Blissfully quiet at the moment. I'm sure it won't last. Oh. Okay. I'll see you later. Of course, Hawk. Oh, okay. It was literally just a check-in. <laughs> All right. That's cool. That's fair enough. Right, go see Anders down in Dark Town. See what nonsense he's going to spout us next. Hello again, Charlie. I do forget you can go straight to his clinic. <laughs> But there you go. Never mind. I'm going to be trying something, and I thought you'd want to be part of it. We've both been wrong. What I did with justice was unnatural. It should never have happened. What you did with him? Oh, well, you joined to him. Yeah, I agree. I'm glad you finally understand that. I can't help mages like this. Not while I am everything the Templars fear about magic. Agreed. Excellent, I need Anders. To be free of this curse. Yeah. Impossible. We don't know that. Yeah, how, how... You know I'll it? do anything I can. What should we do? Your patience with me. I marvel every day that you haven't thrown up your hands and left. You I've mean spent kicked the past three house. years researching <laughs> the methods of Tavinta Magisters. Why am I not surprised? Shut up, Fenris. They're the Fenris. only ones who have ever sought to reverse spirit possession. Not just behead the victims. I believe I have a formula for a potion that can separate justice and me. Without killing either. Okay, what are the risks? Is it dangerous? There are always dangers with magic. But I believe this will be worth the cost. I don't want any part of this. Well, that's good. Uh, okay, let's... Let's give it a go. Surely that's worth any risk it entails. I knew you'd stand behind me in this. Even if... Even if... It's blood magic! What? Nothing. Uh... I've gathered most of what I need, but there are some outlandish ingredients I was hoping you'd help me collect. A powder the Tavintas call Celepetre, and a small amount of Drakestone. Is it just a potion? Is there anything more to this ritual? No, no ritual. Just mix the ingredients up and boom. Justice and I are free. But... And we can take our rightful place among free mages. We? Is it just Justice going to be wandering around? Oh, it's a Drake stone. What is Drake stone? The Tavintas used to mine it for their apothecaries. There should still be deposits in the bone pit. Perfect. Celepe Where Petre? would we find Celepetre? It's a crystal that forms from concentrated manure and urine. <coughs> Ew. We can't just buy it somewhere. It's not used by mages here. There's no reason for any merchant to stock it. I suggest we search the sewers. There's an entrance not far from here in Darktown. What aren't you telling me? Oh, many things, I'm sure. Did I tell you about the dream I had where the Grand Cleric was completely naked except for her mitre? And there was this giant glowing cheese wheel. I don't... Anders. It's... You better not do anything stupid, because I will s slap the shit out of you, son. You like um okay so as we're in dark town let's go into the sewers and look for the uh this crystal this the poop and poop and pee crystal <laughs> which is basically what it is uh crystallized pee and poop oh. 
There's always Kamek, which turns you into a mindless laborer. Like I said, they waste nothing. Oh. If you wish to thank her, she's standing right there. Slave and mage? But is it enough? And there's a death route. Nice. Yeah, I guess because we've re actually we've moved on to another chapter. Technically, we need to like re-search every area again. I don't know if I'm going to go to that extent, but we'll see. We can enter the sewers from here to look for the cellar portray. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Hold your nose. We'll have to get pretty close for me to tell what we're looking at. No doubt. We found it right away. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Never too easy. They just step in the fire there, do they? Oh my god, traps everywhere. Okay, let's back up a second, guys. This is it. The Cella Petre should have formed right under here. Oh, I don't want to touch that. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. <laughs> well, I'm not touching it, Anders, so, you know. As long as you're aware of that, little buddy. Boom. They got wrecked. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. So you've got to put this in your potion, Anders. So you've got to drink it. I mean, I suppose if you're possessed by a demon, you, you know, you're going to do whatever is necessary, but... I mean... Drinking a... Crystallized uh, poop and pee doesn't sound like... A, that's, like, too pleasant, you know? Go do what you gotta do, haven't you? Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. Oh, 
Oh. That was freaking clumsy, wasn't it? I think to not stand in that. We did. We did. Let's see if we can find a few more defenses. Dragon scale boots, eh? You happy now? And a random dagger. I don't know. I don't know, uh, Isabella. Will we be happy? I don't know. Let's see. And it's kind of good, 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 but not good enough. Oh, sorry, the boots. Kidding me. Let's have a look at the boots. Oh, then time, right? It's uh, not quite six yet. We've got a chunky amount of time today. All for the best. Hmm. I believe so. Yeah, let's go for these. Bit of an upgrade. Won't say no. That should be plenty. Thank the maker. No. Yeah. Indeed. We shall thank the maker. Thank you, maker. That Anders has to drink a concoction of crystallized poop and pee. I uh I <laughs> I hope he enjoys it. But yeah, there's something he wasn't telling us there, wasn't there? If stuff kicks off, don't make me slap you, Anders. That's what I'm saying, buddy. Whether I slap you in the face, buddy, or not, is entirely up to you, depending on what happens. You understand this, don't you? Now right. have to. Let's have a look. That requires us to go to the bone pit, which we have a quest for anyway. Um... And apparently some of the workers have been killed at the bone pit as well. So we need to look into that. Um, hey, sea star. How you doing? Are you well? A little bit, sus. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, but we're going to... I guess we'll go do that. Um... It's a tight in. So the bone pit is obviously our, uh, you know, we own our half of it. So we don't, you know, it's our business. It's bringing us in money. So we need to, you know, go take care of that, don't we? How are you doing today, Sea Star? Are you well? What's going on? You having a good uh, Friday so far? We still need mm. the drink stone from the bone pit. We still need you to be quiet, Anders. Will we ever get that, though? I don't know that we will. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, look at it. This is not good, is it? That's a dragon that stomped through it or something. I don't know. Um, um, yeah. No, I'm glad, you're, um, I'm glad you're doing good sea start. Yeah, I guess I am. Uh, I am hopefully I'm going to have a bit of a quite a weekend than i have for the past couple gotta do a bit of work on getting our next game up and running um ready it's taking a bit of prep to sort some things out um no not leaving um i don't think there's anything else i need to do 
necessarily aside from that but yeah no i love streaming but um you can't you can't stream every single day non-stop that's just not a thing that you can do uh a year and a half ago when i just after i started streaming i did the little kind of i guess it was like a promo thing the winter of our discontent i basically streamed every and it's only for five they're only five hour streams but i streamed every single day of january okay that's a little bit sus and this wasn't like that before was it i set up this way briefly we'll come back to that in a second um uh and it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of support from the community and we had a good old time of it but it was uh i feel it's too much by the end of 31 days streaming it was uh god i was uh i needed a rest are you ready to go in we don't in are we no we're gonna go the other I way want to look around yeah first. we'll do that afterwards i'm with you yeah you better be all right okay he wants to go in there. okay i'll see yeah we'll get into the mine let's head down this way first I've got a bad feeling about this. A well, good feeling, depending on your how you, how you look at things. But um, but yeah. So um, so although like obviously, see, start get out is my favourite thing to do is stream. I d you know I do have to have days where I just don't stream. And the past couple of weeks since we changed up the schedule, I've done Monday to Friday. It seems to overall be working pretty well. It's like I'm having more fun and I feel more rested. Uh, having those two days off together, I feel like I can get more stuff done. Okay, we've got an auto save, which is handy because uh, I think things may be about to kick off. Ow! High dragon. I don't know if we're ready for this, but let's give it a go. Um. Oh, excellent. A local brewery. My God. Yeah, yeah. So, so do you, Seastar, do you want to go out a lot and do, have a little drink and that? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You can't do it all the time. I know some... Even the hardcore streamers who do like six days on one day off. I think that's what, like kind of what they do. And they'll stream for like 10, 12 hours a day. It's just... It's not... I feel it's not good to be talking that much and just like sitting that much and like be on like trying to entertain and engage people it's it does wear on you but then um everyone's different aren't they so uh yeah it was it was a lot of fun but let's just say see start i didn't do it this january gone i didn't do it the, like the, the following year i was like even though people were asking me about it i was like no streaming is like an experimentation and everyone finds what works differently for them you know, streaming every single day doesn't work for me. Uh, streaming for 15-hour streams doesn't work for me. We've tried it, you know. I think we're in a good place now. It's working for me, and I hope everyone's... Uh, you know, I hope, I hope no one's missing me at the weekends. I'm still around. Can we contact on Discord at any time? Um, but yeah, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all going good. Um, so yeah, we're fighting the dragon. Um... I. Oh, look at Choco Dog just running in. Nipple its ankle there. Alright, buddy. There we go. God, oh, chonky boy. Go down. Go down. It's a bit early for that, uh, me thinks, Hawk. <laughs> Isabella got yeeted there. Now, Anders, do you have enough uh, magic to get her up? Can you do that for me, friend? Oh, yeah. He's, he's, I've set him to do it. That's cool. There we go. He got it. He was already on it, basically. Ah! 
Wow. Okay. She got killed again. I'll deal with it. These idiots need to know when she's a potion or not. Oh no. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna come back to this dragon. I think we'll uh we'll check out this dragon another time. Uh. <laughs> oh dear. A bit too often, see that. Well, look, you've all got voices. It could be worse. Yeah, no, it is. It is cheaper to do it at home. Nothing wrong with it. You know, whatever works for you, my friend. Don't, uh... Don't, don't, don't uh, feel bad about it. Just, I would just say, um, you know, don't, um... Don't go too crazy too often. Because it can catch up with you. And it's very habit-forming as well. You know, I know people who... Don't get drunk every day, but do consume alcohol every single day. Are you ready to go in? And it's ready a bit like... We'll have to look for Drakestone deposits along the sides. I, yeah, I know how I know how mine works, Anders. Jesus Christ, what's he like? Uh, <laughs> moderation, yeah. Do it crazy occasionally, just don't... You know, have to take days off. And don't go crazy every time. I, that's what I believe. I'm no expert on these things. Oh, we're going to need to hire new workers. It seems like all of our workers are dead. Oh! Speed ray. Right, yeah, what did I pick up there? <laughs> Some kind of amulet. Wooden Zoth, eh? Hmm. I'm going to switch this in, I think. Enemies drop better equipment. We've got pretty good equipment now, and it, it does keep flowing in as well, so... Let's go with that. I'm not too concerned. This looks like a Drakestone deposit. Excellent. Should be more further in. One to worry about. Oh. Well, those spiders were far squishier than the ones around the corner. Yeah, deep mushroom. Nice. I like how the, the resources work in this game a lot. It's like it is streamlined very streamlined i don't know somebody might say maybe too much there should be more further in but i don't know i don't mind it i think they pair it back a little bit in inquisition so you, you do have to actually collect crafting materials again rather than there's just a set number in the game you have to find them all um okay let's go this way first i guess No doubt, no doubt, Anders. No need to repeat yourself, young man. Oh, what's that? Griffin belt? Griffin feather belt. Um, more attack, stamina, mana, and health. It's uh, quite nicely rounded out. Okay, we'll go for that. But what about uh, the Seneschal's leather strap? Check with Fenris. Yeah, fractional upgrade for him. There we go. Nice. There should be more further in. You're in trouble now. Finish this! Yeah. Ooh, this is always me. I'll show you why mages are fit. 
Oh, Fenris. He could not tank the monstrous spider. Maybe for the dragon fight, I'll need to uh, switch him out and get Aveline in. Wow. You kids. You crazy kids. My bruises have bruises. Yeah. This is us stepping up to the end of the game. Getting the end game. Things are getting tough. Oh, a giant spider carries money with it. <laughs> Tubes! Get rid of that Osiris out of here. I didn't too well. I'll be well, sir. Thank you for that. Complex chest. That sounds like a job for you, uh, Isabella. You no pun intended. No? Mm, nah, not quite good enough. Not too shabby. Uh, work and lurk. Excellent. Well, oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Tubes. Bless your heart. Always appreciated. Never, um, I know you're a busy man, so never feel like, you know, stressed to, uh, you know, do, do it. You know, I'm sure you won't. Where to now, indeed? This way. There we go. That should be enough. All right, excellent. Oh, Ganders, you got enough of your little potion. It's gonna separate you and uh, Justice, and then what? We shall see. No, no worries, Tubes. No worries. No need to apologise. <laughs> Thank you. I wouldn't have asked just anyone to venture in there for me. Obviously. There is one more thing. What, Anders? And we must discuss it privately. There's <sighs> always something, isn't there, Anders? If there's one, if there's a third ingredient that he hasn't told us about that we must discuss privately, what does that tell you, folks? He should have. He's, he's, a, he's a bit manipulative. Do you know what I mean? He'll say, "Oh, we've got to do these two things. Can you help me?" Oh, now we've do those two things. Is there actually a third thing? Do you know what I mean? It's like you've already done the leg work. Like if you're going to refuse, what we've just done is a waste of time, because it's ensured that we've already done that. It kind of lends weight for us to finishing it off, doesn't it? It's better not be some bullshit, Anders, because I will not be happy with you, mate. Um, before we can do that, we've got that random uh, nobleman's uh, daughter who's been kidnapped by bandits. We're going to go to the wounded coast and save her, and probably want to also clear the area again uh, to find any crafting resources or anything. Hold there! Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> the name's Evitz. Oh. As in Evitz Marauders, the folk you killed a few years back. Indeed. Now you're going to die for what you've done. No. I, uh, I refuse. Let's say you 
do. But to get there, you kill a bunch of innocent people. What about them? Don't they then deserve justice? Yes. And then what? Where does it end? Mm. It's like a bar brawl. People are continuously pulled into the fray and nobody remembers why it started. Justice is an idea. It makes sense in a world of ideas, but not in our world. Isabella dropping uh, the truth bombs. Anything you there? Did my love send you? Will you take me to him? Your love? Your, uh, your dad sent us. Oh, there's nothing uh, creepy going on. Either your father didn't give me the whole story, or I really, really <laughs> hope you're talking about someone else. <laughs> Fainriel, the man of my oh. dreams. These brutes intended to take my maidenhood. As they argued about who would go first, I fainted. Then Fainriel spoke to me in a vision and told me not to fear. When I awoke, the men had slain one another. Please take me to Fainriel. I want to thank him properly. Uh, we try and hit on this random lady. Oh my god, what kind of a slut are we? Hey, slight of game. Slight of Spumoni. How you doing, bro? You alright? Um. Gonna be the in incorrigible flirt. You saw him in your dreams. Maybe we should sleep together, then go look for him. Hey, what did you do to my man? I'll kill you to your good and dead. Beg pardon? What even language was that? victorious it seems i must wait a bit longer for my love oh thank you for your aid i will find my way back to kirkwall the walk will tire me and we'll be reunited in my dreams fainriel my love i'm coming how does she know fainriel is he really saving her i don't know i don't get it never mind weird i don't slight you suddenly love this game. <laughs> Why? Because you... Bro, if, if you want to... It's like, this is, um... This is, uh... Like... Isnib Fantasy Simulator. I can't, you know... I can't... Fl I can't... Uh... Unashamedly flirt with everyone in real life. So I have to... I'll do it in this game instead. <laughs> Um, whoever, whoever they may be, whoever they may be, um, I don't think I've turned down a single opportunity. <laughs> oh, got some Talbot shots still hanging around. All right, if you like. But yeah, slight. Uh, lovely to see you yesterday on your stream. I, uh, you know me. I I always uh, end up ducking out fairly quickly and sorting out food and stuff. But uh, I did, uh, I do like keep an eye out in the background. What was going on with that game? I didn't realise you're into psychedelics. Slight. I didn't think that was your like vibe, buddy. But um, it looks interesting, to say the least. Um. <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me, C style. Some people might look like look on down on you and be like, "Oh." Some people think it's like not good. Anyway, this is. I guess we went into details about this yesterday, didn't we? But I don't know. We're all adults, and as long as people aren't getting hurt, you know, as long as you're being considerate of people. 
you know, just, uh, it is what it is. Oh. Hello. Correct. Yeah, the dragon's not going to be as all easy or easy as all this, is it? Okay, there's two extra canary swords we found for that guy back in Kirkwall. I don't know how many there are to find, but torn trousers. God, the greatest of treasures. Um. Yeah. Interesting. So you've got... <laughs> so slight. So on your stream, obviously not on cam, but you've got a cam version recording to put on YouTube. Interesting. You know there's an easy way around all this, don't you, Slight? Just just be on cam all the time. That's... um. I'll, I'll keep you covered there, buddy. Co cover all bases, then. <laughs> I'm only playing. You are my favourite no cam streamer. I'll say that. And that is and that is the truth, you know, I'm not, I'm not I don't say that lightly. I know a bunch. If you consider Yeah, uh, a VTuber to be a no cam streamer, I guess that's t t technically you know true. Um yeah. Definitely. I'm glad yeah. Um, YouTube uh, sufferers. Well, shut up. <laughs> you're, you're not trying to pull a Legion cage, are you? You're like, oh no, nobody wants to see me. Mm, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's true. Okay, so we might. I won't go that, back to the exit that way because we're. Uh, We'll clear that out again. Oh, that check. Actually, I haven't said that. It's just a straight path, isn't it? And I think there's an exit down the other end, so. It's actually. It will actually be quicker to go this way first. And if possibly, there's nothing even here. Oh, an elf fruit. Nice. Anyway, how's your Friday site? Are you well, sir? Right, I think this is. Aware Gun Scrolls, the first aspect. I don't know. I suppose I could read about it, but... Oh, YouTube suffers. Uh, oh, you mean in the fact that it's something... Uh... Oh, you mean that you feel you should be on cam before YouTube, for a YouTube video? I don't know. I'd, if anything, I'd say it's like kind of the opposite. Like, you know, a lot of uh, video game stuff on uh, YouTube doesn't have people on cam. I guess it depends on the content, but but I uh, whatever start you know you you know your own mind and yourself better than anyone else, and um, I have absolute faith in you, uh, and I know you're going to do whatever you think is for the best. And if you try something, it's not you feel it's not for the best. You, you know, I know you're not going to be too concerned about changing it up. Ooh, a coral fragment. La di da. A complex chest. This is for you, uh, Isabella. Oh, lads, get out of her way. Small wet pouch of incense. I don't think it's good if it's wet, is it? That's why it's junk and it's not worth much. It's interesting that you do get literal junk items in this game, but um, they are they do actually have value. Okay, that's a random um, amulet there. Fire resistance. 
Uh, maybe helpful for the dragon. I wonder if that was what was doing all the damage. It's fire breath. I managed to get the way out of it, but obviously AI companions, you know, kind of it's a bit trickier for them. So maybe that'll be useful. Yeah, no, fair enough, Slight. But the thing is, you've already got an audience in the community of viewers who are kind of very used to your stream. Well, there's no cam and i you know and you know my personal feelings of it i i i like your stream and you know but for me because maybe because i know you i know that i would just kind of enjoy it more just seeing you while you're streaming but maybe i don't think you're gonna have any viewers who would be like oh no i don't want to see what he looks like but you see what i'm saying that you've already kind of um your viewers already know what to expect and maybe they just uh, most people don't like change, do they? You know, I don't. You know, I'm not gonna. You're not gonna lose viewers over it. But I don't know. It's, it's something to think about, buddy. But um, don't just assume that it's automatically superior. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I've got a few more. Now you fall. I'll deal with this. Get back. What a mess. Nice one, all right. Oh my god, all the undead. Any more? Yes, even more. Okay. You're Anders. Sorry, we're leaving you on your own there, buddy. Oh, Maidan, who are you? I don't like the looks of you, buddy. Oh, jeez. Almost, uh... Almost bit the dust there. Oh, Fenris did. Oh, we got a new quest. The Wygun Scrolls. There's a quest from this guy. Okay. Interesting. Got something good for us. Girdle of the Elders. That's got to be good, right? It's got to be. Just back up here and... Get this stuff. I was uh, I got rudely interrupted by all the undead in the game. Um, damage resistance, health, healing bonus. Eh, kind of good. Kind of good. Also, you know. That, I mean, that would probably be good on uh, Aveline. That's who it might be good for. Um, but yes, like life is life is an experiment, not just uh, streaming. So whatever is needed, you should do, and only you can determine that. Bell grenade formula. Interesting. Ah, some embryum. Can 
I hear spiders? Another canary sword. Excellent. Hey. Not every coin is valued by weight. This, Some uh, carry where they be, like small whispers of the past. Indeed, indeed, Tavern. Uh, Tavern's been stood there for like three years or six years or however long. It seems like a long time to just be chilling there. But who, who am I to judge him? Wow, Ring of the Ferryman. That's insanely good. But I can't justify spending half of all of our money on it. That's a bit too much. Uh, nice belt. Another nice belt. 24 gold. Um. Yeah, tempting. Very tempting. Let's get that for Isabella. I'm going to be able to buy that, as, that one as a backup. Let's uh, get a lot of this junk. Now, which of these staffs do I want to hang on to? Let's go to that. Hang on to that one. Hang on to the fire resistance one just uh, for a little bit. There we go. And settle that crap. Yo, Liz! How you doing, Liz? You alright? Oh, sorry, back up there. Um. Yeah, I, I've got a bunch of emotes, C Star, but most of it's just stuff I've ripped from uh, Google Images, <laughs> which te technically you're not allowed to do that, but. I yeah, no one notices. Um, been training, have you, Liz? Been training uh, new peeps. Damn, it's nice to uh, they're putting their trust in you. Oh, well, sorry, I was uh, got that belt on uh, Isabella. I feel she's the the uh, most appropriate person for that. Yeah, a casting belt. Yeah, we'll give that to Aveline. I'm going to try the dragon again. I'll probably switch out Fenris and get Aveline in there. Try and, like, properly... If that's even a thing, try and tank it. Oh, okay, that's the wounded coast cleared out. Right, the elvish is a famed elven assassin from Antiva. Zevran? Is that you? Alright, that's all out here in the wilderness. And we can uh, clear Sunder Mount as well. Bound to be some stuff around. Uh, some more uh, nice emotes you got there. Slight, very nice. Oh, you! Someone's been—they've been training you, Liz. Oh, and how's that been going? This is good, is it? You get looking at getting a promotion over there, are you, Liz? 
Hey. Eh? Maybe. Pay wise, maybe. Wow, these guys. <laughs> Almost feel bad for them. Uh, Sylvanwood Ring. Interesting. A quest item? Raider's Superior Plate. Oh, I guess I just want that. It's one of those return this to someone. Kind of item. Nah, as if it's going to be uh, better than the, the champion's armor. So I wonder if this is going to be the best armor for uh, for Hawk for the rest of the game. It could very well be. That night, I can't stop thinking about it. Well, then I'll see you later. Oh. That was direct. Thought I'd get straight to the point. Uh. Don't be absurd. I'll see you tonight. Oh, Isabella and Fenris have finally hooked up. Well, Lardy, da. Okay, we've got uh, another random scroll there. Excellent. I wonder if I might miss these, like I did the uh, with the but with the tomes, but because they don't have a marker, and you've kind of got to hunt around everywhere, but. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Uh, hello there. Greetings, champion. That is what they call you in your city, isn't it? It is. Did you need something? Oh my god, let's hit on her. I'm always amazed by the beauty of the Dalish. Getting crazy now. If you are trying to initiate something, don't bother. I'm not interested in a Shemlin. That's because you're racist. Greetings, champion. <laughs> that is what they call you in your city, isn't it? Did you need something? I hear there is a criminal hiding among the Dalish. He is not among us. This criminal of yours is set up in a cave away from our camp. He said there would be people looking for him and to tell anyone who asked where he was. Oh. I thought the point of hiding was not to be found. He said he didn't want to endanger our people by asking us to lie for him. That's good of him. Not is something that, you'd expect suffering? from a cruel and evil murderer, is it? Mm. He'll be waiting for you at the cave. Good luck trying to reach him, however. Uh. Wow, friendly. This assassin is strange indeed. Why do you think he would give away his position? Why indeed? Um, okay, well, we need to search the, uh, the whole mountain, so let's go, um, this way first. Oh, oh, dark spawn. The fizzle? Hey, where'd you come from? Well, that was kind of shocking. Recently opened passage. Okay. Curious. Well, I guess that's where the dark spawn came from. So I guess we better go in there and investigate. La di da. Liz, yes, that's so satisfying when you do a good job. You know you're doing a good job, and you get recognised for doing a good job doesn't always work out like that, does it? Yes. 
Oh, hello. Arcane horror. You know what that means? Chuck a dog. <laughs> Get him. No, no need. Smashed him. Ooh, Revenant. Let's finish this. I'm just curious. Uh, are we leveling up? Okay, going on for level 20. Yeah, if we can at least get level 20 or maybe even level 21 before we go back and try and fight the dragon, it would definitely not be a bad thing. A road hammer? Hello? That sounds interesting. Okay. Huh. Mm. Okay, so base damage is the same. So we would have to... So we'd be sacrificed. So it's, it sounds a special ability. I don't know if I've seen this in any other weapon. 25% chance to reduce attack speed. You're putting a slow debuff on the, the enemy. And 25% chance to reduce movement speed. Now you've got to think that is going to... Dick, because uh, the number of attacks you're doing, you're going to eventually, you know, you've got one in four chance. You know, a normal enemy, you're hitting it like 50 times. So <laughs> that could be good. And it's got a rune slot on it. But we were losing a stonking amount of 42 stamina and a 15% increase to crit damage. Hmm. Um, I feel it's strictly better for Fenris, at least. So let's just give it to him for now. Plus, I do not like the look of it. That was jank. Just a, it's just a bloody chunk of stone on a stick. <laughs> if if we're going to be quite honest, but Liz, that's because you're a wonderful person, and I'm just glad you will get the recognition for that you deserve. Okay. Vertitian. That's uh, mage gloves, maybe? I yeah, can't wear those. No. They seem to be that good, honestly. Okay, we've got the Golem uh, Storekeep. How's he doing? Has he got anything? Sundering. Oh, wow. I mean. That's more like what we're talking about. That hammer is freaking amazing. Do not have the strength to do it, but I could buy that and save that. Yeah, so a slight, so yeah, more. So we, so over the aside from the extra damage, extra ten DPS, you get more crit chance. Electricity damage. I don't know as a percentage that matters because I don't know it's doing electricity damage anyway. Um, so we'd be, you'd be losing a bunch of 10% um, physical damage, but I guess that balances out. Um, so you're losing the 42 stamina, but you'd be getting increased uh, stamina regen. Got that bow. Wow. I don't use bows. I might just get that. And use that as we level up. Um, yeah, emotes there. <laughs> those froggos eating those hearts there. That's right. Um, I 
Um, no, uh, I don't. You know what, Sea Star? I don't know. No, you. Yes, yes. Technically, you have to have streamed. Technically, uh, so before you can upload emotes, which are yours tied to your account, you that people can sub to you to get access to. You have to be a Twitch affiliate. I don't believe you can upload emotes until you are affiliated. Um. So I mean, but I mean, getting a f in theory, so you could just stream until you got affiliation just to get your own emotes. Uh, <laughs> nobody else could ever use them unless they were sub to you. But you would, as the ch channel owner, you know, I can use my own emotes anywhere on Twitch any time I like, even if no one has ever subbed to me. Even if I stop... This is the last stream of the Islam show. I never stream ever again in my life. My emotes are there forever. Um, so you could consider just doing a stream just to get emotes... <laughs> just have your own emotes. But you would have to get affiliation. Now, some people that's easy, some people that's hard. I know I have a friend who got affiliated in uh, less than a week. Like, when Sween starts her stream, she's probably going to get affiliated straight away. Because everyone will be so excited to see her. And she's probably only got over 50 followers anyway. Uh, for me, when I started streaming, it took me two and a half months of streaming full-time to get affiliation. Uh, and I know I've got a fr another friend who took him over a year. Bef and now he wasn't streaming full-time, but over a year to get affiliated. So the question becomes, how desperately do you want your own emotes? That's the question. Uh, so yes, that is uh, that is how it works, I believe. Um, yeah, but even that's the thing. To uh, so the bare minimums, like you'd have to stream for a week, wouldn't you? Because the affiliation is checked over the previous week. Actually, I think it's streamed over the previous month, but you could probably get the requirements in what a single week, and then not stream for the rest of the month. Yeah, no, it's it's wildly different, C Star. Like I say, I I was told the average. I don't know who pulled that number out. Their their backside. The average is three months from first stream to affiliation. So I'm pretty lucky. Was it three months or was it two months? I don't know if I was slightly under or slightly over. Like I say, two and a half months for me. Some people do it in a week. Are usually that's the people who are kind of whether they they built up the hype themselves or just because they're a, a known name on um, on Twitch. Like our friend Sween. She mods for people. She's a dedicated Twitch viewer. She's active in communities. She's never streamed herself. So there's a lot of people excited to see her stream. Um, also, my friend Mirage, he, a kind of same, similar thing. He was very active in people's chats, and then he was like, oh, I was thinking about streaming, and people are already excited. Like, oh, Mirage is going to stream. Awesome. So those people... They get, bang, they get that affiliation, like, right away. Because they've got the people there in their chat right away. But, like, if you're just starting from nothing, nobody knows you, like I did. Um, you can get lucky and people find you. A couple of months. Or, you can get unlucky, nobody finds you. A year later, you're still working on it. Something to consider, at least see star. Think about it. Um... Yeah, exactly, Slight. So, like, safe. So, for, um... Hey, Coptimus, how you doing, sir? Are you well? Yeah, so for someone like Sween, who probably already has 50 followers, just because everybody knows her, on her first stream, she's going to smash an average of three viewers. Um... Then she just has to wait for the the month to tick over, and then, and then Twitch will email her and go, bang, there you go, Sween, do you want to be an affiliate? And she's like, yes. <laughs> then she's got her emotes um but yeah yeah it kind of um it depends everyone's situation is different c star but coptimus crime how are you doing sir are you well how was your friday uh <laughs> like to do things the hard way i feel it's better if you're just like going in blind you have to wonder one it's very hard for people to find your stream anyway Two, if people... So the, the trick is, on the basis that if 
a rando does happen for whatever reason to stumble across your stream what is the thing that's going to make them you know most people most viewers generally decide in the first 60 seconds whether they like the stream or not whether they're going to immediately leave or they're like oh hang around for five minutes and then they hang around for five minutes and they're like oh you know what uh, still undecided i hang around for 15 minutes you know and it builds up like that because it's rare the person who will be like oh my god this is my new favorite place in the first 60 seconds but it's very common for people to decide the opposite i'll be like you know what not for me i'll see you later or not hopefully <laughs> um so what slightly what slightly you're saying is right that for, so there's so many little things you can do so you in that first 60 seconds hook people in and the i'd say the two main ones are one be on cam because gen, as a general rule people want to see the person who's streaming two be talking you've got to be talking if someone comes in your stream and you don't know they're there and you just sat there silently they're like what what the hell and also be attempt attentive to chat i remember my first stream c star i'm doing a five six hour seven hour stream looking down at chat every few seconds nope nobody here nobody here nobody here Diddly. nobody here still um because if you you still have to check because if i'm just concentrating on the game and somebody comes in and says hello and i don't notice they could be gone before i've even noticed and that's like some that's a view potential viewer you've lost to for you weren't paying attention but um yeah i'd say vtuber is better than uh no cam and here's the thing c star um there are a lot there are lots of vtubers and there are lots of uh twitch viewers who don't want to see this ugly mug can you believe it that anyone want to see this face but uh it's true uh they prefer vtubers they want they're like oh they're just like they're just into it they're just into it that's the thing i've got friends who are vtubers and all their friends are vtubers <laughs> and that's what that's what they're into i'll respect it um so you should have, do whatever is best for you but um you know we've all got uh particular preferences um Oh, bless your sea start. Well, I'm glad you do because you stuck with it. And over the years, you're going to see it gradually get older and more wrinkly and, you know, more fall into pieces. Uh, oh, bless you, cop. <laughs> uh, yeah, my my face ain't going anywhere. I don't know about that. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to buy this crazy hammer. It seems like an, a, a decent investment. And we'll give it to, um, we'll give it to Hawk when she levels up. She needs to put a few points in strength. Bardin's Folly, the best ring in the game. All of my money. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll um. I think we'll skip. Although belt of woven elf hair, that's pretty cool. Let's get that. Um. Yeah, Sundrin, it's got its own codex entry as well, so that's uh, somewhat encouraging. Mm. There we go, I'll do. Right, that's where we're going. Up this, not that way. Up this way. Just making sure I had all our buffs and stuff on there. Um, yeah, I, I, I definitely age like just much slower than than uh, most. <laughs> Benjamin Button was at the growing younger. <laughs> Scotty was born an old man and shall remain an old man. 
just he's just an old man at least well look at this way scott you're not gonna get any older you're just, you're just old forever um wait was it have i gone the wrong way yeah, i came from there didn't i it's gonna be is there just nothing in here oh okay it's just to come in oh yeah, back out to sundermount okay random it's just to go in there and kill some enemies and go to the shop i guess how very random anyway pressing on i can't believe you're still not taking sides i told you i only like to be on top oh i mean against the templars you like freedom right you hate slavery why wouldn't you side with the mages maybe i just don't like you ah ah anders ah you got nothing to say to it because he's like oh yeah actually there's literally no reason for anybody to like me <laughs> valiant rune mm, interesting oh spiders i'll deal with this now you fall Let that be a lesson to future generations of these wasp spiders. Yeah, I don't think they had children. And if they did, I don't think they're around to see that. God, Isabella, what are you talking about? Nobody knows. That was quite the burn, wasn't it? Maybe I just don't like you. He's like, stunned into silence. <laughs> Um, because he wants to see us. Something else is going on. That's the reason. Oh, upgrade for someone there. Oh. Not, not so much blood. Um, not sure which way we're going. We'll try this way first. Oh yeah, this is a dead end. Okay, cool. Bring your complex chest uh, over here. Excellent. Um, superior iron wood war blade. Yeah, I am. I am happy. Isabella, shut up. Uh, so we need one point of strength, but you know what? Let's just chuck a, a few extra points in there anyway. Right. What to? Uh, what should we going for? Yeah, here we go. Damage transfer. Yes, here we go. Perfect. Hawk, you can be like ultimate tank. Kind of. Because I can monitor her, her uh, health levels a bit better and, and avoid damage better than the AI can. Alright, let's so give you this stonking uh, new hammer. Which, okay, doesn't look like ass. 
That's Hammer's Go. That was pretty good. Uh, let me just check with Fenris how... Um, oh, the, the War Blade. Oh, that's pretty good. Now I've got to decide between that or that. Um... I guess technically that's the sword. Just because it's uh it looks pretty cool as well. Just because it's uh got the better base stats, hasn't it? Okay. I'll do. Moving on. Ooh, what are we doing? Okay, we've got about just a little over two hours to go. I don't know if we're gonna get to fight the dragon today, but that's fine. The dragon is not gone anywhere. I want to make sure to fight him before we uh, complete the game. Or we'll at least get into the... Look at these traps. The assassin was definitely expecting company. Point of no return, at least. Tread lightly around here. You're such a slave driver. Wow, how did they... Ah! How did they set that off even though I disarmed it? I don't know. There's pressure ah! plate as well, I guess. Idiots, just walking through it. Thankfully, it doesn't do too much damage. Oi! 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 <laughs> what are they like? Always getting in the way. Oh, hang on. I'm going to, um... managed uh, the rest of this, this today's stream without the fan but it's uh, heating up in here got to be Zevran hasn't it I feel like it must be he, sh he should be with the hero Frelden he's mysteriously vanished he wasn't in the DLC, was he? Oh my god, another Vartral. Uh, yes, we did kill it once already. Stumpy, stumpy boy. fluid all over us. Oh! There he is. I thought I smelled anteven leather. <laughs> Isabella! If it isn't my favourite pirate wench. He looks a bit weird. <laughs> Shouldn't Somehow. you be dead by now? I could say the same, my dear. It seems we were both fortunate to find powerful friends, no? How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai. Adventurer and occasional assassin. I've heard about you. You helped the hero of Ferelden stop the blight. At your service, my friend. I must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the Crawls, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. How do you know I'm the champion? Everybody knows. Slayer of Canari, Deep Roads Explorer, and a beauty to make the gods jealous. You underestimate your fame. <laughs> How do you two know each other? How does anyone know Isabella? <laughs> yes, well, you'll never know Isabella again if you keep that up. <laughs> I'll assume you're not talking about birds. Oh, please, do not tell me you know nothing of the Antivan crows. Yeah, we know a little. 
We are the finest guild of assassins, an object of fear throughout the lands for any man with wealthy enemies. <laughs> or I should say they are. I am no longer a crow, a fact they find unacceptable. There must be more to it than you leaving the guild. That is offense enough to the crows, believe me. Mm. I may have also killed the last four assassins they sent after me, and uh, other men. Oh, and the guildmaster. In fact, if you are a crow, you might make a fortune bringing me in. <laughs> you should consider a career change. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> I thought you'd be taller. <laughs> ah, let me guess. A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? What did he say this time? That I killed his wife, butchered his parents, sold his children into slavery? Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? Oh, we can hit on Sephron as well. Excellent. He didn't mention how handsome. Ah, so you've noticed. <laughs> I credit my high cheekbones and pouty lips. <laughs> Bring me to Nuncio if you wish, but uh. I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The crows do not like loose ends, unlike myself. But you are a woman who can clearly handle herself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? Let's uh, go back together so and kill them. you can them. either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. Or you can take me to Nuncio. Which will it be, I wonder? He doesn't sound elvish. How so? Uh, well, he's from Antiva. That's, that's the, is the, uh, that's like the accent of the Antivans. Um. Uh, I choose manhandling. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, uh. Yeah, I mean, in Meryl is like the Dalish elves, but she's got a Welsh accent, but none of the other elves do. You're very compliant for a fugitive. Yeah, there you go. Compliant, yes, and very bendy. But truthfully, I know when I am outmatched. I would rather take my chances against the crows. I like your list of options. But does it have to be in that order? I knew you couldn't resist my obvious charms. It's it's the accent, isn't it? Uh, no, it's just because we are an incorrigible slut. Much like you, Severin. That's all it is, buddy. Don't, you know. Um, uh, I guess we'll ask Isabella's opinion. As she you know him best. What do you think? I've had better. Ah, that's not I what we meant. About letting him go or not. <laughs> I've had better. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I mean... On the law of averages, uh, Isabella, I think that can probably apply to a lot of people, can't it? Right. I'd let him go. Yeah, I'll I'm not go. going to hand you over to someone who lied to me. As a suggestion, you might wish to deal with Nuncio. If you don't, he will only come after you. It's been more than a pleasure, my dear champion. Fare you well. Join us, Zephyrin. He's wandered off. All right. Me do. All right. Random gauntlet, say. Eh? Oh, ring of the shadow hunter. Tell me that's not good. No, this gauntlets are crap. Uh, ah, okay. Magic resistance, physical, and crit damage increase. I mean... Let's do it. We're suffering a little bit of stamina there, but... What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Um, is that everything? Yeah, I think I was blocked off up there. I'm pretty sure. I better just... Let me just double check. It was indeed. X. 
Okay, let's get back out on Sunder Mount. See what else is up there. Oh, they're at their camp. Of course they are. Yeah, they said not to come in uh, to... Uh, they were come and meet us at our camp outside of the sea. And uh, probably have a, you know, a bit of a hoedown with them, I expect. <clears throat> Let's uh, first let's uh, finish exploring the mountain. As it's been three years since we last here. Wait for the undead to jump out, or else. Shouldn't take long. Oh, arcane horror, eh? Vanished. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Don't die on me. Yeah, that's not how we're supposed to do that. Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, oops. <laughs> there we were, dead. Yeah, Jess, she was like, what? I should have, to be fair, I should have been paying. I was far full because I'm doing damage than, um, Paid attention to everyone's uh, uh, hit points, but uh, never mind. <laughs> it, it, it happens, Jesh. Um, we have another little go. Just, uh, you know, got to keep a, a little eye on things. Um. <laughs> oh, funny. Um. In fact, I wonder if, um... Get those guys to stay there for a minute. Oh, he's up on the next point, wasn't it? Oh, they're still following. Okay, let me do a little save here, just in case I do uh, balls this up again. Yeah, what? Yeah, Sea Star, what even just happened? I don't know. <laughs> Look, we were fighting some undead. There we go. Uncane, arcane horror. There we go. Can you come over here and play with us, buddy? You want to come over here? There we go. Oh, yeah, he's, he's doing some, like, crazy powerful attack there, and I didn't... I think what it might have been, a part of, um... That sustained ability I've now upgraded on, um... Hawk is, of course, she takes, like, 25% of any damage that anybody else takes. Instead of them. Not as... Well, obviously, it's not an upgrade, is it? Uh, so I just have to be a little more cognizant of how damaged she is at any given time. There we go. All right. I'm going to tidy up these shades, but they should not be an issue. Relatively.
There you go. Alright. Yeah, that, that was the issue. Bloom. Bloom, the giant axe. What is this? I mean, this is better than the crazy hammer we just bought. I mean... Okay, 5% chance to regenerate 4% health. That is meaningless. Uh, and cold damage. It just does cold damage. Oh yeah, the Sundering does electric damage. Of course it does. It's not physical, is it? Idiot. Uh... <laughs> So I would say that Sundering overall is better. However, Bloom does have two rune slots. So we'll hang on to that. And if uh, we get some, like, once we find the dragon's blood, which I guess is from the dragon, maybe we can get some, like, uh, super high level, two extra good high level runes on it, then that will... Uh, Probably be slightly better than Sundering, even, I guess. Or oh, raw lyrium. Excellent. Number of times she said that, I, don't even, I can't even. <laughs> That's enough. Looks like we made it. <laughs> looks like we made it. Looks like we massacred those spiders. I mean, that's, what, that's what you mean. Yeah, this thundering is almost too good. I this poor little shade over here doing nothing. <laughs> now you fall. A Fenris with the level up, eh? Not or a Calcum. Oh, and Anders as well. Okay, Anders. Um. I'm just going to give him more hit points, I think. This level up. I don't really know what to get for Anders, or if anything is even necessarily worth it, but... Get that. Um, I'll give Fenris strength, so he can uh, potentially equip that... Uh, The, um, what well, I was trying to say, what I'm even trying to say, equip that, uh, new sword I got, um, there we go, let's upgrade his might with muscle, there we go. Yeah, even if I, uh, don't, um, If I don't have any uh, runes in it, it's still freaking amazing. Wow, it looks pretty damn cool as well. Her song. My god, we've fallen over items here. Uh... Great sword. Um, not as good as what we've already found, unfortunately. So we'll sort of have to sell that. And that appears to be everything. Ah, the graveyard at the top of the mountain, of course. Of course. Me too. Get my, I'm getting lazy in my posture where I'm uh, streaming every day. 
I need to be sat like this, not leaning over. That's not going to do my back any good, is it? Idiot. Yes, we're robbing graves. I know, I know. Thunder's too good. Out of range. Forces of nature coming up. Any more? Andrew's braid. Okay, that sounds cool. Is it though? We shall see. Oh. Not right now, he won't. Okay, I can do it right now. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> get ahead of myself. Oh, uh, hmm. You know what? For, for the sake of one point of magic, yeah, let's give that to Anders. I'm going to put a single point into uh, Isabella's dexterity just in case we stumble across a uh, a dagger that only um, you need to have 41 dex to use. And then put two points of constitution, buffer up a little bit. You're not as squish. And we're not really using uh, across the bow. But at lowering an enemy's defense by 50% for 20 seconds is pretty good. Yeah, then obviously I don't really want anything attacking her like that, but um What could we use? What would we good? There we go. Yeah, that, that, get, let's get that for a nice little passive there, the blind side. That'll do. Hard to go wrong with that. Gotcha. Get back. How about you? I don't know why some of the enemies they look like they should fall down dead. It's like they it's almost like they die too quickly. I need to catch up. <laughs> like, oh, am I dead? Okay, let me... You have to hit me a few times first. I guess there's no real reason for us to come back up to the shrine. I certainly can't do anything with it. Yo, Ben! How you doing, bro? You alright? How's your Friday? Hopefully not too stressful. No, it wasn't a lot of blood. Actually, Isabella. It wasn't a lot of blood at all. Eat. The Jade Serpent, another ring. He's throwing all sorts of things at us now as we're, like, getting into the end game. Uh, nature damage, nature resistance, a 33 attack. Mm. Switch it in for that. I don't think he's got any nature damage on him, but... much better than what he currently had obviously i'm not thoroughly checking everything that everyone has but glitter dust nice maybe we just need some to get some also some like crazy good potions when we fight the dragon also it would be a terrible idea i can't go in there and there's nothing here for us okay we got our crafting resources, we've got a bunch of gear, we killed uh, some undead and dragons and things, so that's all, all for the good. 
Let's get back down to the bottom of the mountain. Sorry, all of the trading cards in in the uh, I said a back office. I mean, I guess it's not quite the warehouse. Is it in storage? Out? Should we say out back? And pe you know, people in the store they go, I'll oh, just check out back. <laughs> I'll look out the back for God damn. Bloody hell, Ben. Now, how sorted? Were they a bit of a... They managed to get into a bit of a mess. Damn. Good on you, bro. God. The guys you work for... Is, I can't remember if you said it was a couple of guys or like one guy. They're lucky to have you, Ben. I hope they do appreciate you. Yeah, C-Star. Ben works... Um, he's uh, in a, like a, basically like a, a, a hobby store. So, yes, it freaking sucks that he works in retail. You know, I, I trust me, I know all about that. Uh, um, so he doesn't like it for that regard. I don't want to speak for you, Ben, obviously, but uh, you, you feel free to correct me, sir. But um, as retail goes, obviously he's still got to deal with BS. He's, he's working with cool stuff. You know, he's Magic the Gathering cards and all collectible cards, you know. Dungeon Dragons books and stuff. I assume he's got that kind of stuff around. So, um, you know what I mean? It's like... I, I pray that I'll never have to work retail again in my life, but... If I had to, but I got to choose... That's probably what I would go for. Not, not that there's any, there's any way around here like that, but... Um, A month-long project. Yeah, Ben. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, no, yeah, so that's the thing. So you've had to spend a month in your off off time if when the store's quiet, sorting those out. But now, that's going to increase efficiency. You just obviously need to make sure your colleagues, your boss, <laughs> don't go mess it up again. Because obviously that just slows down processing the orders, doesn't it? But good on you, Ben. I'm the same buddy working any kind of environment. Particularly retail or any kind of workspace, you need. You've got to have things nice and tidy. You have to. It doesn't work otherwise. Under Anatishan, child, I pray that the path before you is a safe one. Well, thank you. I do appreciate that. Okay, so I guess our next step will be going to meet up with the Antivan Crows. Yeah, we all already know they're idiots from the uh, idiots. I mean, I, people I don't like uh, from the first game. So I've got no qualms about killing them. The quest is even called A Murder of Crows. <laughs> mm. True, of course, of course it is, Cop. let your assassin go. Was I not supposed to do that? You had him? And you let him go? I am thoroughly disappointed. No one fails the crows and lives. Ah, poor stupid Nuncio. The crows do like that saying, but I am living proof it's a lie. <laughs> Why they insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the warden, <laughs> I will never guess. Let me tell you. It's a burden I bear on a daily basis. <laughs> you are nothing but a traitor and a coward, Zevron. You'll die here. Ooh, knife to the eye. Yes, well, let's see how that works out for you. Yeah, didn't seem to uh, work out too well. Bless them. They tried. Yes. Yes. Talk to me when you're done. 
Of course, Severin. <laughs> He's like, I'm sure you wish to loot the camp. Yeah, he knows. Um, no, yeah, I'll get it, Ben. I'm not I'm not diminishing what you have to do, Ben. Trust me. But, um, you know, you can, en on some level, you can en engage and appreciate your customers, even if they are dicks sometimes, or even all the time. And the fact that you work in an independent private store, you have one boss who is the owner, and you're actually appreciated by him. I mean, that... I, I feel that goes would probably go a long way. Even if it's still, you know, bullshit. You know, working for big old corporations. But, you know, just like, hey, more meat for the grinder. Um, okay, is that approving battle tunic? Is that? Happy now? Yeah, okay, that's not an upgrade for anyone. Well, that's not terrible, but it is actually terrible compared to what we've currently got. Um, never mind, eh? do a sweep of the whole area you never know what's uh tucked away a dull shiv <laughs> very important obviously pile of bones Yo, Draco. Sorry, how you uh, doing there, buddy? You right? Um, okay, Sephiroth, I think I've looted everything here, bud. Excellent. Killing my former brothers in arms is oddly satisfying. I've little reward to offer you, champion, but perhaps this will serve as a token of my thanks. My dear Isabella, it has been a delight to see you again. You travel in fine company. That's it? You're leaving? What about sex? No. Ah, Isabella, <laughs> I did so miss you. That's because you have piss-poor aim. Thankfully, you have <laughs> other uses. Ha! <laughs> Are we sure he was part of a guild of assassins? Yes, I'm sure. Excellent, Draco. I'm pleased to hear it. Uh... Um, yeah, I expect Dungeons and Dragons books are far more expensive now than they used to be when I was a kid. Not just because of inflation. Uh, I also expect, obviously, I assume a physical copy is way more expensive than the, uh, than the, uh, you know, uh, a, a, a digital copy. I wonder, do you get, do you, I wonder if you get access to a digital copy if you, uh, buy the physical nowadays. Over 60 quid. Oh, my God. I remember getting my player's handbook back in the day, uh, Draco. It was uh, 20 quid. That's what they went for, the main books. Um, This was, like, second edition, and this was, like, about 25 years ago. So, <laughs> uh, you know, a little bit... um, 
think times have changed. Right. Um. Oh, we found an elven ring. Uh. Okay. Mine massacre is gonna have to wait. Okay. Let's go and see. Uh, Meryl, and give her this random ring we found. Yeah, only a few moons. Not that long. Is this for me? It's beautiful. Do you know what it is? A ring. Uh, it's Dalish. Uh. Well, I thought so right up until you asked me that. It's Sylvanwood. Rare as diamonds. You only find it in very old, very wild places. The carvings tell a story of the betrayal. The dread wolf tricking all the gods away from the world. Start at the beginning. What happened to the gods? Long ago, there were two clans of gods. The creators looked after the people. The forgotten ones preyed upon us. Oh, it's always the forgotten ones, isn't and it? one god who was neither. Than Harrell, the dread wolf. He was kin to the creators, and in the old days often helped them in their endless war against the forgotten ones. Why were they fighting? No one knows. We barely even remember all their names, let alone who struck the first blow, who was wrong. Van Harrel was clever. He could walk among both clans of gods without fear, and both believed he was one of them. He went to each side and told them the other had forged a terrible weapon, a blade that would end the war. He told the creators it was forged in the heavens, and the Forgotten Ones that it was hidden in the abyss. And when the gods went seeking it, he sealed them both in their realms forever. Now he alone is left in the world. Wow, okay. You don't like the gift then? <laughs> I imagine the Dalish don't depict the doom of their gods just for decoration. Not exactly, no. This was made for a keeper, you see. Guarding a clan from the Dread Wolf is a keeper's place. It's a very sweet memento. Thank you. No worries, Meryl. Okay, got some friendship. Right, okay, now we're going to see Anders in his clinic and see what this uh, BS... Uh, A thingy, uh, thingamajig, uh, potion. He's got the stuff for his potion. Um, but he's gonna try and pull some other BS on us because that's how he likes to run us, doesn't he? Uh, Seven, welcome back. You might die. Um, damn. Well, don't, don't, that's a very cool thing to do. Just, I would say, don't risk your life on it. Take a break. Good on you. There is one more thing I need of you, my love, and I can't tell you why. Why? I can't must you get tell me why? The chantry without being seen. Will you talk to the Grand Cleric for me? Distract her long enough for me to do what must be done. Tell me your plan. You would not thank me if I told you. I will if not you thank you if you don't tell me. Ages, help me. That's all I can say. It sounds suspicious as fuck. Anders, you claim that you're in love with us. You claim that you support us. You claim that you trust us with anything. Yet you won't tell me this. Oh, well, you won't thank me if I tell you. Oh, I'll, I'll thank you a lot less if you don't tell me. You get the back of my hand, son. Yeah, no doubt. It's a problem having uh, lots of stuff. Seven. Have you got stuff you can throw away? Or even if you can't, it's, even if you can't, it's um better to tidy it up for sure. 
Ben just sorted out all the uh, collectible cards in his store. It's taken him a month to do it. Uh, this sounds suspicious. What is it you don't want me to see? Do you believe in me, love? Do you believe mages deserve to live free of the Templar's grasp? Then trust me now. I am doing only what is necessary. Was this ever about you and justice? Or have you lied this whole time? I lied. There is no potion. But what we have gathered will bring freedom for more than you just me and justice. It will help mages throughout Fadus. In the face of that, one lie means little. Bro! You don't lie, and you lied to me! You lied to Hawk. He's been living in our freaking house rent-free for three years. And he freaking lied to us. Alan, I need a potion. He, and even when it's come to this, he's like, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm just going to tell you. I need you to be my bitch and I'm going to tell you. I can't really put my fist through his face. I can't act blindly. Tell me your plan. I am taking a risk. I would not see you drawn into it. We've, but maybe your support. We fought and killed everybody. Uh, I. How many people have I fought and killed over the past six years, Anders? I'm not scared of anyone. I'll, I'll kill them all. If mages ends at talk. What? It's easier to support freedom if no one must die to achieve it. So you're trying to kill somebody? You cannot claim to love me, then turn on me now. What a freaking prick! Exactly. Guys, if anyone, if you're ever in a relationship with anyone in real life and they treat you like this, kick them in the fucking, kick them in the groin. Punch them in the face. Call the police. Do whatever you got to do. Anyone who says, if you love me, you'll do this for me, does, is using you. And they don't love you. And you just fucking break their jaw. Red May, he's, he's pissing me off right now. Anders, you, you freaking little prick. Take an advantage. <sighs> and it's the thing. He might tell me the plan. And I'm like, okay, that's a good plan. Oh, it's risky. Oh, no, it's risky. Oh, I might have to fight everybody in the whole city and kill them all. Oh, no. It's not like I haven't done that before. Oh, no. I can't tell you. But you pull that. You pull the... I, yes, I lied to you, and yes, I'm not going to tell you the truth. And if you and if you love me, you'll go along with it. Fuck's sake, Anders, you bastard! How, would he, how dare he do this to me? That's unfair. I will not be blackmailed into aiding some mad scheme. You're on so your own. From. I have always been on my own. For a time, I just forgot. Selfish little prick, Anders. What's he, what bullshit was he trying to pull there? Has he, has he like left us now? Is he like, I, I'm not, rah, rah, rah. I'm still, he's still going around with us. Was I, and I, and you can't just come out with that shit. No, I had no idea, but he wouldn't tell me. He wouldn't tell me, but he didn't go, oh, yeah, some people might have to die in the chantry. It's just going to go... I will go along with any plan. In theory. But I need to know the details. And if you're, not, if you're refusing me to tell the details, that means there's a good reason you're refusing to tell me the details. And if you pull the... If you do it if you love me card, I will yeet you into outer space. I don't know what I've got myself into, though. <laughs> I feel we've got to go along with it. Um, no worries, Ben. Very reasonable. Yeah, so I guess that's like more 40 quid over here. So that's like two, maybe probably like two thirds of the price that we'd have to pay for it ourselves, Ben. So that's uh, that's very reasonable. So I've done, have I done myself I've, a mischief by pissing off Anders. <laughs> um, I guess we'll. Uh, not obviously we've already done that, but um 
I think we got a a safe coming in, did we? An auto safe. Oh, screw it. Whatever happens, happens. I cannot imagine what it must be like to lose your family. Anything I could say would be insufficient. I'm what? sorry. He can. You just murdered your sister the other day. What are you talking about? Thank you. I wouldn't have asked just anyone to venture in there for me. There is one more thing. But we must discuss it privately. Oh, what? What are you talking about, Anders? Get back in here a minute. Let me talk to him again. It doesn't matter what I do now. The wheels are in motion. What have you what have you set in motion? Oh my god, Anders, he's pulled some apocalyptic madness, hasn't he? Crying out loud, Anders. It's Should we call uh Dragon Age 2 ba babysitting simulator? <laughs> Un ungrateful swines. Oh, nice. That's cool, Seven. Damn. Is that really what they're charging over here, Draco? I've, I bet... I don't know if, uh, like, Ben's place... Uh, yeah, they must do, like, um... I don't know if online orders, but I don't know if they do, like, an eBay shop or something, but... But, yeah, that's a, that's a good point, like, Draco. If you take into, um, the lower price point... And... Uh... You know, uh, currency conversion. I wonder if, you, like, you wanted a brand new fifth edition player's handbook, whether you're literally, it's cheaper to buy it in America, have it posted over here, than to just buy it in this country. It might balance out to be roughly the same, but that uh, worth looking into. Um, right, I want to head back to the Hawk Estate briefly. Yeah, it's a lot of money for a book. And that's the thing, if you get into D&D &D and you want, you know, if you want the books, you either, well, don't give a damn and you'll go for second hand, or you want them new. I'm generally more of wanting, a, wanting them to be new and stuff. Um, that's just me, but, um... Of course, uh, nothing wrong with second hand necessarily. Uh, but then you don't just need the player's handbook, do you? You probably want the Dungeon Master's Guide. And you probably want the Monstrous Manual. And God knows how the money other supplements. So you're like, boom, 500 quid. Give me some books. You're like, God, you better get the use out of them. That's my problem, getting the use out of them. Um... Do we need any runes at the minute? I don't think we actually do. Oh, what's, oh sorry. The uh, the rune of uh, Valiance. What's that? Oh, an armor rune that increases all attributes. But ah, but you can only put a single one in each armor piece. That's insane. But you need we need some dragon's blood for it though first. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. Um, potions? Where's my potions at? Oh, there we go. That's poisons. Uh, okay, maybe we should buy poisons and stuff. Oh! That's uh, a bloody phoenix down there. I guess we should buy a few of those. I just want to buy some, uh... Ah, Deliberating Potion. Um... Although, uh more damage might be more useful. Let me buy a few of those. Let 
lessens the attack speed as well. That could uh, maybe not be terrible. A couple of those. Magic resistance doesn't seem so great. Right, potions. Um... There you go, mighty offense potion. Uh oh, elixir of heroism. Oh. What the hell? Check that. Elixir of heroism, eight gold, plus one level for all party members. Can you only buy one of these though? I mean, Because if not, you could just like, we could just like boost ourselves up to level 40. But maybe not level 40, but let me try that. That's insane. Okay. Um, I was actually wanted, I was getting distracted there. Sorry, I just need some normal healing potions and stuff. Yeah, elf fruit. Um. Oh, yeah, so we can only get one. Okay, cool, I'll see. Uh, so I'll save that until we actually level, you know, until we're at the end, as it were. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so he's not had a Mardi at us totally and stomped off. And is such an asshole. Oh, excellent. Very nice, Draco. Yeah, I used to play it when I was uh, younger, but I wasn't really too clued in. Now I've got more interest in it. I have no time or money or people to play with, in theory. I'm sure I could find a bunch of people. It's just um, finding the right people and the consistency, and it's just it's just too much going on to uh, reasonably expect people to stay on top of it, you know? Um Okay, we do have a couple of canary swords to turn in. Um, I don't think we get any... Uh, we don't have a marker for the scrolls, do we? Unfortunately. We do not. Alright, let's turn these swords in briefly. I don't know if we actually get anything for it. Have you located any canary blades? This is if you find there you go. Um People hate rangers. That sounds like madness to me. Aren't they the best uh aren't range range unless I uh, listen it's been uh, three editions along since I last played uh Dungeon Dress. <laughs> but Rangers are the best archers, right? So, I don't know how, how, uh, that would be a bad thing. I don't, <laughs> just show what little, what little I know. Um, let's push the main plot a little bit. We'll go see Meredith. That's our next thing to do. Um, Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, Red Mage. How are we doing? I've got about just under an hour and a half, about 20 minutes. Okay, so we're definitely not completing the game today. Obviously got, uh, in my mind, the issues with the Canari in the previous chapter and all the issues with the uh, Templars and the Mages in this chapter, I kind of conflated the two. Two separate issues. Uh, 
Uh, have I even been in here before? I don't think I have. Can we... Oh, they're not going to let us uh, <laughs> explore their base. Oh, actually, I haven't said that. I think I've been in this courtyard here. This is a difficult time for Kirkwall. Indeed. Sorry, it's the... Uh, the High Enchanter just uh, hangs out there. Just across from... The, they have their offices opposite each other. No wonder they hate each other. <laughs> The Knight Commander wishes to speak to you. Indeed. That's what we're here to do. Let's see what nonsense Meredith's going to bang on about. Her sword's in ridiculous. Champion, welcome. What is this urgent matter you spoke of? There was an incident within the gallows. A number of phylacteries were destroyed, and several mages took the opportunity to escape. We've recovered most of the fugitives. However, I require your assistance in tracking down the last three. Right. Yeah, what happened exactly? How did the phylacteries get destroyed? An insurrection. Several of my own Templars orchestrated the escape. Presumably out of sympathy for the mages. Oh, there they you turned go. their backs on their duty and endangered their charges, as well as the city. Now, Thankfully, why most did they who do escaped that? fled to their families and offered no resistance. The last three are proving more difficult. Since you're turning to me, should I assume the Templars all suddenly disappeared? The apostates are being sheltered by their families. Some have been reluctant to talk to Templars. But you are another matter. The people of Kirkwall trust you, Champion. They will be more honest for you than for us. Yeah, what? I've got a bit of an, uh, a turn the roads here. Um... Bear mount, that's perfect. Um, but the problem is Meredith. She's okay, so they've had some of her Templars have betrayed them, destroyed some phylacteries, which are basically that's how you track down the mages and freed some mages. Um, she's trying to track down the mages and presumably the Templars as well, bring them to justice. Uh, and they are not opening up to the Templars. So she wants us to go and help her pull in. You know, because we're the champion. Everyone trusts the champion. But we've never had this discussion, Meredith. I don't believe in the Templars. I don't believe in the Major Circle. I believe all Majors should be free. And any Majors that can't behave themselves should be destroyed. Much like anybody who can't behave themselves. Well, I don't discriminate. So why you've got I've got no reason to be our errand uh, dog here. Do you know what I mean? Our errand boy. I'm not doing your job for you. You have a sister in the circle of Magi, do you not? Bethany is her name. Bethany is no part of this. Your sister is an exemplary mage. I bring her up only to illustrate the point that I do not believe their kind are all the same. No. Some dogs submit easily to the leash. Others remember they are wolves. Yep. We hunt wolves as well when they become a danger. If these fugitives harm this city, the people will turn against the circle. And that does affect your sister. Talk to these mages' families. Investigate for yourself whether they need be recaptured. Seems like you're giving me a lot of rope. Trying to hang me with it? Yep. I'm trying to solve a difficult problem in as gentle a fashion as I dare. Yep. You do not approve of my methods. 
I do but not. Perhaps you will change your mind when you see firsthand how dangerous these apostates are. And what would it take to change your mind? Speak to my assistant, Elsa. She can tell you whatever you need to know about the fugitives. Uh, no, so she just completely ignores Anders there. She's never going to change her mind because she's a true believer. You know. I bid you good day, champion. Hmm. I guess we we have to look into this for the main quest. Day, Can't not do it. Of Kirkwall. Knight Commander Meredith has informed me that you will be tracking down the apostates on behalf of the Templars. There are three of them. Huon, Emil, and Evelina. Why does Meredith have a tranquil assistant? She flaunts what she can do to mages. She likes to rub our faces in it. The Knight Commander believes tranquil mages to be efficient and single-minded. I, in particular, am extremely organized. Well, congratulations. Are the apostates blood mages? The Knight Commander suspects this, yes. Okay. The Knight Commander tends to assume all apostates practice blood magic. She prefers to err on the side of caution. Hmm, okay. Tell me about these mages then. I want to hear about Huon. Huon is an elf. He was apprehended in the alienage ten years ago. His wife, Nisa, works for a dressmaker in Lowtown. Have the Templars spoken to her? Yes. Nisa insists she has not seen Huon since he joined the Circle. Okay, well she could be lying, but maybe she's not. Could Huon be hiding among the other elves in the alienage? The Templars' searches uncovered nothing. The Templars have also concluded that few other elves would risk hiding him. Hmm. Huon was taken many years ago. Most of the alienage's inhabitants do not even know him. Okay, moving on. Jesh, thank you for stopping in, buddy. I do appreciate it. You have a good evening, my friend. And uh, if you need me over the weekend, get at me. And uh, I hope I'll see you next week sometime. You have a good one, my friend. Tell me what you know about Emile. The second apostate is Emile de Lancey, fifth son of the Comte de Lancey. The de Lancey's have a home in Hightown, but are often out during the day. They are generally home by evening. What do you know about the de Lancey's? Comte Guillaume de Lancey is a minor noble from Orlais. He and his wife came to the Free Marches over three decades ago. Emile was born in Kirkwall and sent to the Circle at age six. What have they said to the Templars? The Comte and Comtesse say they have not seen Emile since he was a child. And again, could be lying or could be, you know, could be the truth. Um, obviously, different people have different opinions on the Circle. What do you know about Evelina? Evelina was trained for eight years in the Circle in Ferelden. She was last seen in her former residence among the refugee community in Darktown. Um. How did she come to be in Kirkwall? Yeah, she's in Ferelden. Evelina claims to have fled the Blight, not the Circle. She presented herself to the First Enchanter on her arrival and asked to take her place oh, okay. here. Our files indicate she petitioned Meredith for financial support of numerous other pre-adolescent Blight survivors. Did the Templars run into her in Darktown? Yes, they tracked her there, but she killed several pursuers. The Templars oh. believe she is the most dangerous apostate. Okay, well that kind of says something, doesn't it? She used she willingly turned herself over to the circle. Fast forward a couple of years, she's trying to escape and is killing anyone who comes after her. What does that tell you? That tells me that Meredith is a match. Uh I have all the information I require for now. Good luck on your search, champion of Kirkwall. Oh. I don't really want to hunt in apostates, but it seems like the uh, the game wants us to do this, so here we are. Let's go. Welcome back, my friend. Although I have yep. nothing else to ask you to find, you're quite... 
Okay. I'd be more than happy to craft something. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh, sorry, I clicked on it by accident. I was just trying to look at this store there. Which, uh, presumably, he's not really got much of anything. Ah, the rock armor potions, though. Probably do with buying those. Oh, wow, life ward potion. That would be pretty handy. I think we want lyrium potions. Ah, we got the recipe for it. All right, cool. I've got some crap to sell. I don't doubt. Right. Fortunately, that sword's got to go. Um, I'll make my mind up about these two. I guess we're actually done with them now, aren't we? Unfortunately. I'll keep the double bearded axe just in case I feel I need it for some reason. <laughs> Wow, I didn't even notice I was picking up that dagger there. <coughs> oh, that's the ring we gave to Meryl. Got it in our inventory. I guess we need to give her give that to her later. Get okay, sell all that junk. So good to see you, champion. Oh thank you. You're a very polite young man. Damn. Yeah, god, it's uh pretty freaking amazing. Right, so we want to get that in uh, the first slot and then get time uh, offhand. Wow, it's freaky looking. It's like something the Klingon would use. That these guys got anything interesting? Tell a lie. <laughs> okay, that's not very good. Yeah, no, no, that's very good. Need some. Guess he's just backups. If you've somehow. Oh damn. King's bounty helm. Uh. I've got and some boots. Uh, should I be renting money on these? I suppose we might have to for uh if we're gonna be fighting this dragon. Okay, let's just do it. I don't I don't care. Might be switching them out before you know it, but so be it. Okay, that's kinda of cool looking. Right, okay, let's go. They're all over the place, aren't they? And that's uh, the My Mascot. Okay, I guess we have to go one at a time. Maybe it doesn't matter. Let's go. Oh, so I guess we're looking for the, uh, the elven guy who might be at the alienage. It'd be funny, I don't necessarily want to do this. Hey, oh, you're an escaped apostate. Oh, you escaped those awful Templars. Okay, well, enjoy your life. Is there anything I can do to help you escape? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I don't know.
Do you, do you, don't, you don't, me, don't help with me smuggling you out of the city? Must we come here? I think these alienages. You must do what I tell you to do, Fenris, and shut your mouth. Oh, greetings, Messer. My mistress is away seeing to a customer, but she will be back shortly. I can take your measurements if you wish to have a dress made. Don't be ridiculous! I'm here to speak to Huon's wife. Are you she? I... I am his wife. When the Templars came, I told them the truth. I hadn't seen Huon in ten years. I believe you. But after they left, he... He came to me. He wanted me to hide him. I used to dream of him returning, but not like this. He's changed, and I don't know him anymore. I sent him away. Did he hurt you? Only broke my heart. Oh, bless. How has Huon changed? He was obsessed with showing everyone true elven power. Oh, dear. He frightened me. So you hadn't seen him since he left you? Huon didn't leave me. He was taken away. Yeah. When the Templars what found out he was a mage, they chained him and dragged him from the alienage in front of everyone. Now I'm trapped in this, this sham. Married, but with no husband and no future. That sucks. Did you see him use any magic? Perhaps blood magic? I... I don't know. I don't think he used magic on me. Do you know where Huon went after you sent him away? I don't know. He disappeared. But, but Huon said he would return to take me away from this forever. Empty promises. I don't no. know what he means, Shut but up, I'm Fenris. afraid of him, sir. Would it help if I returned? I'll make sure you're safe. I would be grateful. Huon said he would come to the alienage soon, at nightfall. Are you... are you going to arrest him? I think he needs help. We might kill Maybe him. Maybe the but... circle will be able to heal whatever troubles him. Okay, at least his wife wants him back in the circle. Okay, so we need to leave and come back at night time. Oh, excuse me. Deary me. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Some more folks. I'll deal with this. Nope. There you go. That's what I tried. Let's try a little bit early on the uh, preemptive on the. Uh, oh my god, and some more. Little preemptive there on the. Uh, on the whirlwind, I was trying to use it and just stood there doing nothing. <laughs> Oops. Ahem. Anyway, I don't think they're related to uh, Huon at all. They just randomly there.
Yuan. Yeah. I think uh, we might have to write Huon off. He seems a bit, he seems a bit demony to me. <laughs> Hush, love. Don't be afraid. Your blood will bring new life to our people. Oh. What the hell, bro? Okay, we'll just kill this guy. He's a write-off. He's just murdered his own wife. Or because it's fun. It's fun to murder your wife. I don't know. She was so beautiful. You're going to pay for what you did. It's always the same. Always. No, it's not always the same, Fenris. a bit stunned up there that's fine getting the slaps around that's fine there we go right well i thought things were going to get complicated got a bit of a casualty but that's one of the apostates. So much for helping him out, eh? Uh, boots of the champion. Oh, I've just got better boots than... I just wasted money on buying some boots. Right, I've got some fell poison as well. They're going to be better, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, never mind. These things happen. Money. Easy come, easy go. Remember to start the game when we're scrambling for silver. <laughs> Yeah, it's very spiky. Ah, so be it. Right. Onwards to the uh, next person who was... Um, uh, yes. All right, in Hightown, yes. The, uh, the Lancet family. It was their son, Emile. At night time. Hightown at night time, okay. They insist they've not seen him. Who's, who's saying, uh, who's not to say they just lied about it? Yeah, Draco, just like, he's like, oh, I'm gonna. Hello, wife, let me kill you. It's like, I was gonna help you, buddy. But you can't just murder your wife and then I'll let you get away with it, you know? See what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. I didn't kill him because he's an apostate. I killed him because he killed his wife. And Fenris is like, eh, it's always the same. Shut up. Both of them, Anders and uh, Fenris, are as bad as each other. Okay, all right, so this, this way, isn't it? Oh, hello. Blood Ragers. My God. Let's finish this. Get back. Who are they? Blood Rager Thralls. I don't know what a Blood Rager is, but is that like a Blood Mage? Who knows? I don't know. Never mind. Are they just like some weird, weird gang? I don't know. They wouldn't be, th wouldn't be called Thralls then, would they? Who 
That's that's the idea, Isabella. <laughs> What's she like? All right. Show me your, your master chest. Would you also like me to make pigs fly? Yeah. Oh. If only that were possible. If only that were possible. Right. She does not have the cunning to get in a master chest. I think that's the first one we've come across. I need to put a lot of uh, into her uh, cunning to be able to uh, overcome that. Oh, we've reached the save limit, have we? All right. Let me uh, back up slightly then. Hello there. Good evening. Hello. Hello. You look lovely tonight, my lady. Oh, you are too kind. I am so honored to have the champion in my home. I guess that guy was just the servant. I will call for refreshments. Talia? She is so slow, this girl. Come, let us chat while we wait. Stop fussing! Uh. <laughs> You're extremely cheery for a woman whose son is wanted by the Templars. Emil? Oh, yes. The Templars were asking about our poor boy recently. I haven't seen Emil since he was taken to the circle. He was just six. You can tell the Templars not to worry. I am sure Emil will turn himself in soon. He is a good boy. Yeah. Dulce, what have you done? You should have told the boy to throw himself at the mercy of the Templars. Guillaume, yeah. darling. Yeah. Don't darling me, Dulce. He's been telling people he's our son, that you gave him gold. Guillaume, what? darling, we have guests. Yeah. Idiot. <laughs> just stay out the cat out of the back there. I flirt with everyone, Draco. It seems like it. I think the game's like picked up on it. Don't stop on my account. This is fascinating. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to lie to you, champion. I didn't mean to lie. It was an accident. I accidentally lied to you. I meant to tell the truth. But I accidentally ended up lying. Ooh. I I barely saw Emil. I didn't think it was worth mentioning. You just lied again. I gave him some money. Not too much. He said he wanted to start a new life. I should kill you right now. His new <laughs> life is spent in low town taverns. He just, he just slipped out. drunk on cheap wine. <laughs> it's a wonder the Templars haven't found him yet. Help us, please, champion. Emil is not a blood mage, just a foolish boy. Don't let the Templars kill him. Blood mage? Oh, Guillaume, don't say that. Please, save my son's life. It looks like the Comtesse is in greater danger of expiring at the moment. Uh, yes, Dulce. She's high strung. An acquaintance spied Emile in the hanged man not long ago. He should still be there. If he's behaving the himself. The hanged man? But that place is filthy. <laughs> Come, Dulce. Perhaps you should lie down. Okay, she's... Okay, I'm not going to kill her. She's just crazy. She doesn't understand the implications of her actions. They are so Orlesian. Indeed. Oh, can we, like, rob their house, maybe? While we're here. Oh, we can as well. Don't mind us, champion of Kirkwall coming through. Uh, we're paying for this, aren't we? So be it. They got a bloody canary sword in here. Ow! Do I need to turn this off? I don't think there is. Oh, jeez. Can I not even get out of here? 
There we go. Oh, it's there. <laughs> okay, that was a treasure room, which they had trapped. And then <laughs> the champion is like, I want your treasure. I'm the, I'm the champion. And they're like, oh, yes. But there's traps. Oh, yeah, whatever. Oh, my God. I'm even doing that, I don't know. <laughs> was there anything even good out of all that? I don't think there was. There's a bunch of junk. Oh, well. Never mind, eh? Is that foolish boy? Oh, my head. <laughs> Everyone's oblivious to the fact that we just robbed them, so that's fine. Um let's uh let's let's uh, be on our way. Oh mate, maybe there's more things to steal? My servants in the kitchen. Oh, servants quarters. Okay, never mind. The hanged man. Now if he behaves himself, I'll help him escape. Um if he doesn't, then you know what's gonna happen. God, Isabella, your damage output is insane. The Ring of Transitional Power. That sounds freaking cool. Is it, though? That's the question. 35 attack. Okay. It's not terrible, but... Staff of the Adept. Anders. Um, wait, he's in the middle of combat or something. It's because he was moving. Okay, why... Well, um Oh, he just doesn't have enough magic on him at the minute, does he? I just need to boost up his actual magic stat next time he levels up. Just, uh... That's arguably better. Maybe a spell. Maybe not either way. Yeah, Draco, I'll probably need one of those. Thank you. I appreciate that, buddy. Let me uh get on that. Let me just uh get that loading up. Oh God damn. Mm. Oh. Oh. Do you ever feel like the world's getting simpler? Like everything. Oh. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. Oh. Rah. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't realise how much I needed that. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I hear the champion of Kirkwall has killed a dozen dragons and sleeps on a bed made from their bones. Yeah, bro, you, you say that to your same friend every single day of your life. Don't do that. Emil! Alright there, bro. What's going on? He just got drunk. That's not smart, Emile is it? Delance. Uh. Wow. Are you... Are you a mage? Because you just magic my breath away. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, that, 
yeah i mean i'm not uh one for uh chat up lines guys but i would i would say don't try that one on anybody are you a mage because you just magicked my breath away i'd i'd skip on that one you need more practice with women can i practice on you <laughs> in private no, this obviously not. This is what lack of sex does to a person. I can only watch in horror. No. He's lived in the circle all his life. He can't function in the real world. Really? Round of drinks on me. I'm Emil, as you know, and you are. They call me the champion of Kirkwall. I've been looking for you, Emil. Oh, buggery. I know what this is about. I, I, I'm not a blood mage, all right? Okay. No, there doesn't seem to be one. I have uh, started that rumor because uh, because I thought it would make me sound dangerous and uh, uh, suave. Uh, I believe it. Do you have a death wish? You grew up in the circle. You know what the Templars do to blood mages. I've only told people in the tavern. And only women. No! You don't understand. I've been in the circle since I was six. Six?! For 20 years, I was locked up. Uh, I never had a real drink or, uh, or cooked something for myself. Never stood in the rain or kissed a girl. The Ferelden Circle's more fun. Everyone was kissing everyone. Yeah. Though that was before the abominations. I just wanted to live a little. If you are going to kill me, do it. I'd rather die drunk. No, want to help Isabel? <laughs> um, I don't imagine she'd be up for that. But then again, she uh, who knows? Um, did you really escape the circle so you could kiss a girl? Well, not just that. I've read so much about the other things you can do with girls. Bless him, he just wants to get this laid. This is an act. The mage makes himself out to be harmless. It's not an act. No, I think he's really that pathetic. The Comtesse gave you the money so you could get out of Kirkwall. Stop wasting it. You let me go? Yeah, I think I wouldn't make this to be free. I can tell the Templars you're dead, but you have to leave now. I, I think there's a ship leaving port tonight. Uh, I'll find my way onto it. I'm not going to lie about it. I'll find some way to repay you someday, I promise. I'm not here to kill them. I need to help them if at all possible. Meredith be damned. Right, okay, so uh the final one. Somewhere in Darktown. Yeah, you can take anything else, buddy. Oh! More importantly in this cutscene is the fact that Squidge there, my good friend, is undoubtedly over 9,000. Thank you, Squidge. How's your day been, my dear? <laughs> Excellent. A lot of flexes from Squidge, my God. I think you're um going toe to toe with uh with G Ray. Jockeying for position up the top there. It's been good. Never gets old. Well that's the least I can do for you, Squidge. Um there we go. God, I say hang on a minute. Jockeying for position. Not just with G Ray. Oh my god. Squidge, G Ray, and Slick Mick are all essentially in shared second place so one more of those from you squidge before g ray or or uh, mick will put you in second place and then they're they're up against it trying to overtake you just to, just so you're aware something to think about uh <laughs> yeah and that's where you got all those points my god um uh you're falling behind <laughs> I certainly have not. 
Uh, I, I, I uh, leave the full bonuses on uh, C star. There we go. Oh my god, I didn't think it'd happen. <laughs> you want to go for 100, then you're just going to leave it. God. Well, thank you. Thank you, Squidge. Uh, that's a lot. God, it's going to take a bit. We got done with flexes, I hope. Not done with the Snip show. But, of course, that's up to you. <laughs> Imagine Squidge is like, there you go, 100th flex. See you later. Have a nice life. <laughs> I'm not pla I'm I'm not planning on Squidge. I can't guarantee what the future holds, of course, but I want to try I want to keep this going. Nothing here you'd want. Get back to High Town and leave us alone. Um You're a little young for a blood mage. And I thought Evelina was a girl's name. I'm not Evelina, I'm Walter. Evelina was our friend. She was our mother. Okay. Evelina found us when the Darkspawn came, when our parents died. She made sure we got to Kirkwall safely. Okay. I miss her. But when she went to join the Circle here, they called her apostate for leaving the Tower and for Elden. They locked her up. Um. Okay. You came from Ferelden? Yes, until we got here, I thought we were the only ones who had survived. Don't you have any other family? They probably died. Everyone died in the blight. Evelina kept picking us up. New children every day. I'm Everyone fine, Squish. Don't worry about that. If I need to take any time off, I'll take time off. I'm not going to, like, get so tired that I'll just go, Ugh! and just don't stream for six months or ever. Don't. No, I'm not worry about that. That's, that's not going to happen. Um, Do the Templars know you're here? I don't care. They only want Evelina. Yeah, of course. Um... Didn't she want to stay free with you? She didn't want us to be stuck in Darktown. She wanted to give us a real life. She thought the circle would help her, but they just locked her away. Yeah. Oh, silly. Stop wasting Stop wasting my time. I'd like to help her if she's not if she's behaving and she's not doing naughty blood magic. No, no, C Star. That was um It was actually 31 days, but <laughs> Just to be pedantic. No, I had stuff to do on the channel and then got taken like three weeks off after. Which most of that, it wasn't rest time, but some of it was. It's just too much. No, f you know, five on, two off. I think that's pretty good. And we've been doing that for a few weeks now. And it's, I want to, how long can I keep that going? We'll see. We'll if you see. tell me where Evelina is, I'll try my best to help her. You can trust me. No one can help her. The Templars made Evelina angry. They made her change. It wasn't her fault. When it was over, she was ashamed. She ran into the tunnels and hid. Shut up, Cricket. Don't tell them that. Cricket? Evelina... What blood magic has she used on you that you have the body of a child but the voice of a, a grown man? In the sewer tunnel. <laughs> you can't go there. She'll know we told you and she'll be angry at us. Angry? I didn't like when she got angry. We, we have to hide. Cricket. Okay, she. They didn't like it when she gets angry, though. Okay, that sounds sus. So maybe she's possessed. Either way, we're gonna have to track her down. Kill them all? No, Mike. I'll kill who needs killing. I'm not just a murdering murderer doing murdering. Except when I'm, you know, it's, they force my hand. I'll give him a chance. I'll give him a chance. You know. But uh, this is not a, this is not a good opener here. You know, we step in and then there's uh, demons everywhere. Right, okay. Oh. Never mind. You're such a slave driver. Yes. Yes, I am. Oh. 
I don't know where the uh, switch for those that flame trap was, but oh, wasn't it? They were just stepping on that, were they? Oh, it's the rage demon was stood on it. That's why. see. What are you doing here? I thought if we warned her about you, she, she wouldn't be angry. How did you but get past those traps? Water. She usually get angry. She's coming. Run! Okay. She's like a mother to us. Please don't hurt her. Also, there we're terrified of her. Are. Don't run from me, Walter. You know those are the rules. Funny. In my house, we always felt running away from violent mad women was a good thing. <laughs> These are my children. You and your kind abandoned them. Your Ferelden. Our kind. Like us. That you feast on sweetmeats while your people starve in the Undercity. Yeah, you've been taken over by the demon. On you, traitor. And on the pathetic Templars that sent you. Turquoise should be mine. Then my children will have a whole city to play in. Or, uh. There. You're just gonna die. How about that? with the blood magic. Oh, yeah, we're, putting, we're getting some nice Don't damage out for now. Evelina loved us. She saved us. Why would she try to hurt us now? Evelina would never hurt you, child. That was a demon. Remember her as she was. A brave, kind, loving woman. Yeah, don't look at her too closely now. I I'll try. This isn't going to stop. The only problem with that, Mike, is if you kill everyone, yes, you are the ruler of the world, but there's nobody to rule. Because there's nobody else, because everyone's dead. That's the only issue with that. The Templars force our hand. They make us take drastic measures just to be free. Like Evelina did. Exactly. I just don't know what we'll do now. Oh, I can chuck them a couple of coins. It's, tw it's 20 silver. And use it wisely. Thank you, Messer. I should go buy some food for the others. They've been hungry for a long time. So I give him five freaking gold? If that kid... If Walter got a, like, a, a minimum wage job, that would take, take him a year... That's like a year's worth of wages there. The guys who work in the, our mine, that's probably what they get paid a year. That's an annual salary. Why did I just give him five freaking gold? You give him five silver, not five gold. Jesus wept. My God. Yeah, well, I, I definitely find it interesting, Mike. Just every, every option is murder. Every option is uh, uh, aggression. It definitely make an interesting playthrough. That's why you should play it yourself, Mike. Um, 
Okay, so of the three majors, one, yeah, two of them had been over, gone gone to the dark side and been taken over by demons. Uh, and one was just a drunk kid and we sent him on his way. Uh, Rune of Devastation. Oh, hello. Trucks, because I get over give that this kid's five gold. My god. That's going to feed all of Dark Town for like weeks. My god. That's like too much money to give away. <laughs> Never mind. So now I assume we have to report back to Meredith. <clears throat> wait, is it not is it not through that way? I don't even know where I'm going to. Oh wait, hang on. Yeah, t oh sorry, round the corner, the te into the Templar Hall. Excuse me. This is the home of Kirkwall's Circle of Magi. And uh, nobody cares, buddy. I'm led to believe that both Huan and Evelina are dead. Unfortunate, but necessary. Agreed. It seems, however, that we have still heard nothing of Emile de Lancet. I'm not going to lie. I never... <laughs> Meredith's problem is she expects everyone to just jump, you know, march to the beat of her drum. Uh, the fact of the matter is, she was like, oh, go look for these majors. And she was so... She thinks she can tell me what to do. She can't. I'll, I'll, I deal with things in my own way. I'm not going to lie about it. I let him go. He's no harm to anyone. Mages can tell slippery lies. Yeah. You are a fool to think that Emile is anything but a... Ser a serpent in disguise. You are a fool, Meredith, to think that he's anything other than a drunken f idiot. She's seeing, you know, you can... It's good to question things, but don't, you know... Don't, like... Or, sir... Uh, don't be so, so sure of yourself that you feel like you know everything. In disguise. Shut up. It's no use. She won't listen to you. Emile de Lance wasn't dangerous. Have you even met the boy? The fact that he escaped is proof enough, I suppose. He wants freedom. He must be evil to the core. Yeah. Be very careful, mage. Your friendship with the champion protects you only so much. Um, in this regard, Anders is right. You've gone too far, and you know it. Maybe if you never took Huon from his wife, she wouldn't be dead. Evelina could be alive. And with the children, she risked everything to save. There are maybes enough to fill half the graves in Kirkwall. I will not add more to the pile. Enough. I have not the patience to argue with you further. Yeah. It's because you know we're right. <coughs> Meredith. <coughs> you ever come across people like that? They'll start arguing with you. And then you, 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 you know you're in the right. And they know that you are as well. So they just go, oh, no, I can't, I'm not arguing with you anymore. It's because you know I'm right. No, it's because I'm, I'm, I've got better things to do with my time. And you're like, no, you haven't. Shut up. You just, you know that you've got no, nothing to say against this argument. 
Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to... Oh, I'm, oh, oh. I'm wasting my time. Yeah, because you can't win this argument. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, now obviously it's a completely different vibe, Mike, in a different setting. But for that, choosing what you want to do, I'm sure you would very, you know, you'd be able to get into this. Because then you'd give you, as you've seen from my playthroughs, I have a very kind of distinct way of doing it, which is in some ways very middle of the road and try to try to be pragmatic. But I would be interested to see a playthrough of any Dragon Age game where, um, which unfortunately we probably never do on this channel, because I'm going to take, I'm going to do what I feel is the right thing to do. But you just, you know, every every single dialogue option is aggression violence uh mercenary give me your stuff i'm going to kill you do as i say <laughs> fall in line and there's nothing wrong with that because that's what the game gives you the option to do isn't it meredith you pissed me off though uh what's this main plot under increasing templar pressure more mages are turning to blood magic with devastating consequences be alert for letters from both the high commander and the first enchanter okay um so we need to go and get a letter from e either or of them back at home. We've got uh meet up with Varric and also fight the dragon. Okay, let's meet up with Varric first. Uh, I suppose we could have another pop at the dragon. We have got a couple of levels. And we've um also uh I've got that level up potion, but I guess we want to use that. I don't know if it carries on your XP, so I don't know if it'd be better to wait until we've Hit, yeah, let get 21 and then use the potion. Or arguably just wait until like towards the end of the game, but if you want to feel the benefit of it. Yeah. But yeah, no, we have like got a level or two. I think we've had two levels since we last fought the dragon. And we've got like massive uh, improvements in gear for uh, most of the party. Um, that's even without like trying to be clever with potions or... Um, trying to uh you know switch in aveline for uh fenris or anything like that um we might give it a go um before we do that though let's go see varric i hear the champion of kirkwall oh you hear you he you say the same thing to your buddy every single day mate i don't know why he puts up with you <laughs> how you doing varric a man of reason. Got a minute, Hawk? Of course, for you, Varric. I know this is ancient history, but remember that high town house Bartrand barricaded himself in? I do. Bartrand doesn't exactly need the place now that he's in the sanitarium. I've been trying to sell it. I can only imagine there's a huge market for the homes of deranged killers. No. <laughs> well, the creepy sort of people who are interested are generally not the ones with the coin to take it off my hands. Indeed. I found a minor noble in Ravain who bought the place sight unseen. But now there's a problem. Yes? They say the place is haunted. If they hadn't seen the place, I'd expect the first complaint to be about the corpses in the hall. <laughs> I may have neglected to mention the mansion's a colorful past to the buyer. Ah. They've noticed some minor problems. Uh, voices whispering in the walls, apparitions things moving on their own my hope is it's a relic bartran brought back from the deep roads we smash it and the haunting stops what happens if we do nothing best case they drag me before the seneschal and accuse me of fraud <clears throat> the worst case involves antiven crows mm. well, it's obvious why uh he needs us more if that doesn't I'm fix not it though. an expert on hauntings but what if smashing something does not make the problem go away? Ah, that's where things get tricky. You come from a family with magic, Hawk. You must have experience dealing with the weird. No. I'm sure you'll be able to figure something out that will help. Yeah, of course we'll help you, Varric. Very well. We'll investigate the mansion. Again. Thanks, Hawk. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Of course. You're like the sanest of my companions. Uh, Varric. So, yeah, of course I'm not going to let you down, buddy. All right, so we'll switch uh, Varric in. We'll switch uh, Isabella out for a minute. Shemaya. Shemaya. Well, arguably, the the amount of damage that uh, Isabella's doing, 
I feel she's out damaging both Hawk and Fenris at this point. Maybe I should uh, leave Fenris out. <laughs> On it, honestly, like realistically speaking. Um, let's give it a go. Let's, let's try it. We've only got 20 minutes, so um, hopefully we can clear out this uh, this house of ghosts. And that will wrap us up for today. You're giving me that Hush. A lot of points of cunning there. Um... Let's just upgrade his little uh, miasmic flask. What are you writing this time? So, you and Hawk, I need some details. Did you go down on one knee? Yeah. Did she jump you? I thought he was going to say something else then. Did you swear you eternal vows of love, or is this just a physical thing? I don't see how that's any of your business. Fine. Ask, ask me, Varric, I'll you tell you. Don't tell me. <laughs> Have you located any Canari blades? This is what I found. If you find more, bring them to me. You could look in yourself, bro. You know, you, you could you could do that. Good day. Yeah, I suppose it's a good day. Not a bad day. You really just be some demons or something. You can just smash them. That will solve the problem. Hey, is that music? Where is that coming from? I don't hear anything. Um. Why is the the fire in? Uh, why is there a fire in the hearth if no one's been here? Okay, a doors open themselves. Oh, I guess the buyer wasn't kidding. Levitation. That would be quite the trick at parties. I can't do that. That's not really my thing. Don't lie. I don't think I can do that. What voice? I can barely hear it. I wish it not going to happen. Words. I can't do that. We get it already. House haunted. You can stop that. <laughs> Forgetting? Look at this. My brother's junk was left here. I'm sure the relic. I know he it, sold the relic, didn't he? Martin was a sentimentalist. This came from our estate in Orzammar. When I was seven, I knocked over one of Mother's plates and broke it. <coughs> My brother yelled at me for an hour. Oh! This was made by the artisans of... And what he and Bob Bartrand yelled is... Douglas Jewey! Do you know him? He's over 9,000! And Varric was like, Who's Douglas Jewey? And why are you shouting like that, Bartrand? There we go. G-Way. Thank you, sir. How you doing? I don't know if you're aware this is intended. you just overtaken Slick Mick. You are now officially the second at largest flexor the show has ever seen. Well done to you, sir. Bloody done well. How you doing, G-Way, young sir? 
Are you good? I hope you're well, buddy. Everything is intended. It's all a grind. Well, you... Are you trying to... I think he's coming after you, Mike. I think... Uh, I think Gary's coming after you, mate. I don't know if you've got any, any, you plan to do anything about that. Bless you. Thank you, G Ray. Are you, are you well, sir? I hope you are. Boom. Slick Mick maintained his second position for a very long time. And now he's just lost it. Can he get it back? This is the question. No. If, uh, if G-Ray has anything to say about it. Boom. Thank you, sir. Uh, from the phone store, you need, uh, you need, you need a new phone, did you? And your dad's phone. Oh, that's not you. Uh, this isn't your new job, is it? Or uh, you just, just happen to randomly need a new phone and your dad did as well. Anyway, buddy, I hope you have uh, you've had a good day. Soundress. The clay was from the Adros Etuna River, which never sees the sun. Arr! Um There's no way you're talking about the same Bartrand that I met. <laughs> Maker's truth. There were tears in his eyes. I never thought that was possible before. That stupid plate was the whole city of Orzammar to him. Well, we knew Bartram was a weirdo, but, you know. Of course, you want, you, you know, you want to protect your mother's plate, but, you know, don't beat up your brother for it, you know. Oh. Sorry. This isn't being closed with an artifact. The idol is still in the house, Hawk. It has to be. Oh, do you reckon he lied about selling it? Uh, okay. That would make sense. I don't think I can do that. Nope. Oh. oh. The ghosts are tidy. Tidy not the place for us. Oh! And throwing things at us. Oi. I'm going to get hands on this ghost. It's going to get a slap. You throw that book at me again, are you? I oh, see so those tidying up books, but... Looks throwing v uh, vases around. Oh, Okay. Maybe like that. Okay, I guess we're heading upstairs. Mark, is that what you've been hearing? No. Good. Then I'm not going crazy. Piece of cake. Are you real? You've got to get out of here before it comes back. What? Where's Who are you? Idol? What idol? Don't waste my time with your lies. Tell me where it is. I didn't exactly want to stay for dinner, but I think we've got a few minutes to hear her out. She's hiding something, Hawk. Don't lie to me. I know it's here. You must have found it. I swear. I don't know anything about an idol. Please. But Maker, <clears throat> no. It's starting again. She seems a bit sus. Like, who, who is she? Was she like the hired help? Keeping on the place. Oh. Hello. Ghost Gollum. Okay, I guess we're fighting him. That's oh god, he's uh, the chunky boy. Anders, can you not? 
Give me a hand there, buddy. Oh, the hell? I suppose it was the artifact, the idol, was a of dwarven make, wasn't it? a lesson to be learned here messing with us is suicide my god um yeah fair enough g ray yeah fair enough well good on you yeah anyway good on you for looking after him thank you for the alert g ray and thank you for being the number two flexer of all time Yeah, you can. Well, that was uh, the chunkiest ghost I've ever fought. This, this is a piece of the idol. No, oh, I should have known Bartrand would lie to me. Of course, he'd keep a piece of the statue for himself. <laughs> Think of what we could do with this. No. I don't know about you, Varric, but I don't want to end up like Bartrand. I'm not my brother, Hawk. The idol drove him crazy, but this is just one tiny piece. No. I need this thing. Six years of my life have gone into this. No. And there we go again. This thing's magic seemed only more potent when broken. The shard is my only hope of curing Bartrand. It's my only chance to set any of this right. Yeah, we're not... Ki no, we're destroying it, Varric. Varric, if you keep that thing, you'll go mad. I'll have to kill you, and Bianca will be heartbroken. <laughs> You're not listening, Hawk. I know I can handle this shard. I'm worried, Varric. You're beginning to sound exactly like Bartrand. Fine. I don't really want to argue about this anyway. Take it. It's your problem now. Maybe Enchantment Boy can dispose of the thing for you. <laughs> that was the right decision, boy. Hawk. You've saved him great pain. Yeah. Let's go. I think I could use some air. Yeah, well, that was weird, wasn't it? Oh, right. Rock band belt. Let's have a look at that. Eight fortitude. Oh, that's pretty handy. Stop you getting knocked around, but I mean, uh, Hawk doesn't really need that. To be fair, she's doing all right on the fortitude front. It's directly tied to strength, so as it goes, <sighs> master chest. I'll check the ledger. Merchants' guild ledgers. Huh. Dwarves fighting over whose ancestors were the dwarfiest, whose gold is the shiniest. I never understood how he could stand it. Five minutes with them and I need a strong drink. Everything makes you thirsty. Don't try to blame that on the Dwarven Merchant Guild, Varric. <laughs> <laughs> you might have a point there, Hawk. Of course. Bartrand wagered everything on the expedition. Everything for the chance to escape the guild. Make enough money and the guild doesn't matter anymore. You're free. Damnation. Let's keep going. 
Indeed. Shame we can't get that. Not going to happen. Where are we going? How should I know? Do I look like the leader of this merry band of misfits? <laughs> I mean, oh, well, you know. Uh, <laughs> All right. Okay. There's an exit back over here. I don't know if. Uh... Okay. I don't think we. Ah, oh, it's just back in Thai town. Okay. So I guess we've done that. Um, I don't think we've got enough time to go and play with the dragon. We'll look at the dragon on Monday. Um, <clears throat> one thing I do want to do, we can quickly only take a minute. Head back to the Black Emporium. We went there at the very start of the game to have a look and be like, oh, what's what here? And then we kind of like left it at that because there wasn't too much more we could uh, do. I think there's, I just want to remind myself what cool stuff was there. Now we have a bit of money. Um, okay, we've got to go see Sand all about this. We'll do it. Might have time to do that, but maybe not. But give it a second. Um, so, the Knight Commander. Boiling in oil? That one never gets old. No. Yep. This is past time for joking. I'm helping you indulge in elaborate revenge fantasies. I think it's good for you. Meredith will die. Do not doubt that. Oh, go away, Justice. Can Anders come out and play? Yeah. Stop. You are no fun anymore. Yeah, I need to shut out a bit, Anders. Just because I'm going to help you with your little scheme. Your super suspect scheme. Help me out with what? Oh, I won't tell you. I just needed you to help me get into the chantry in the middle of the night when nobody's around. And yes, I'm afraid a few people will die. But never mind, it'll be fine. What are you talking about? Let me know what you'd like. Yeah, where's your um where's your shop? Looking this crafting materials. Ah, here we go. There's the elixirs. On spell or talent point and attribute points. That's it. Yeah. Okay, we'll get those. <clears throat> um. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we need here. Uh, ah, spindle weeds and silverite crafter resources. Ah, is that because we've missed these? This is allowing us to get them. These are like ones we've missed. I'm, that's a vibe I'm getting. That would rinse all of our gold, though, so that's kind of a problem. Probably want, don't want to do that. Um, Ah, uh, there we go. Alright, fancy. Fancy looking uh, weapons here, but it's a bit under leveled. That's pretty cool. Not the price, but it's not as good as the uh the Chorus of the Centurion. That's uh I've seen if um Oh that's pretty freaking sweet. 133 gold <laughs> Uh lol. Plus one to all attributes. Hard to go wrong with that. Yeah, we're running uh and the ring plus one to all attributes. God. Another ring plus one to all attributes. My god. 
Immunity to stun. Immunity to critical hits. Breaking out. What the? F Jeez Louise. At least it's giving you stuff to spend your money on. That's for sure. The money we no longer have now. But that's fine. Uh, so what I want to do is... Uh, use our uh, mortal vessel potion. Which just gives us two points of... Uh, uh, in attributes, uh, so I guess we'll we go willpower. And the other one was that a physical technique. That's one ability point. What should we do with this hawk? What's actually going to be useful at this stage in the game? I mean, <clears throat> upgrade the rally there. That's where I've been using it. Go for it. Okay. Just leave it here. I'm just uh take us over to uh the estate. And we've got to see Sandal about destroying this piece of the idol. And of course we've uh got to uh maybe pick up some letters. You've had luck on your travels? Maybe Bozan. Let's leave it here. There we go. All right, okay. I'm crying out loud. My wires tangled. There we go. Let's jump over it for a minute. Well, well, well. God. That was, uh... We got a lot done. Obviously, the game was slightly longer than I thought. But that's, uh... That's, that's fine. It's worked out well. <coughs> Jeez. Hmm. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Wet in the whistle. Right. <clears throat> uh, thank you all for being here. I do appreciate it greatly. Uh, thank you very much to Ryan for the resub. And Sween for the resub. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, Fifi for 20 bees. And the gift sub that went to Steph. That seems appropriate. As she's the number one uh, gift subber on this channel. Uh, that seems reasonable to me. So thank you to those guys. Uh, thank you all for being here. Yeah, so Dragon Age. So, yeah, we've, we've dealt with the Canari. We killed the Arashok. In that... <laughs> Uh, lol-tastic battle. That meme battle. But we got it done. Um, anyway, no, yeah. You save up uh, a sea star. Um, I'm always happy to see new people. Like, if you've got friends and stuff. We give a little boost to people. Or even just people you like. <clears throat> but um, I do reserve it for the redemptions. Just because there's always... Uh, someone uh i know who's gonna be streaming so uh retro john hello there how you doing we we're literally just finishing up the stream buddy i'm gonna be raging out in a second but thank you for stopping in um yeah so what else did we do then we uh another three years ticked over and now we're dealing with the situation of the templars and majors it's just the removal of the canary just kind of intensified the whole situation. Uh, it was also... It was almost like an enemy of my enemy. 
the situation. But now the canary are gone. It's all going to kick off. Um, I do generally re believe that any majors that can't control themselves and behave have to be eliminated or brought to heel. But well, that's the same with anybody, whether you're a mage or not. I am very much on the side of... I'm against the, the major circle, and I'm against the Templars on principle. I understand they're a reality, and we have to work around them. But I'm not running around being Meredith's bitch. I'm also not going to be all Sino's bitch either, so... We'll see how it pans out. I was very, very pissed off with Anders. After everything we'd been through, that he would treat us like that, and... You know, he went, Meh. I've always been on my own anyway. Meh. After everything we've done for you, Anders. God damn it. God damn him. How dare he. But he's still running around with us for now. We'll see how that goes. Um, So I guess it's our main thing is just to monitor the situation and just see how it pans out and hope it doesn't devolve into chaos yet again he did uh sea star i can't believe he did that he's like i need your help okay i can't tell you the plan i can tell you i need you to help break me into the chantry in the middle of the night cause a distraction and definitely people will die and also i lied to you about the whole needing a potion thing I'm just a massive liar, and also, you just have to trust me. No, I need more information, Anders. Anders. So we'll have to see how that pans out. The thing is, he's right. I do want... He know, that's the thing. He knows Hawk. He knows that Hawk believes that Majors should be free. And it's got nothing to do with the fact that Bethany's a mage in the Majors circle. Hawk would still feel that way anyway. But it's like, you know, if like, only you guys, if you're like, yo, it is. I've got a problem. Okay, what's the problem? Well, I'm not going to tell you. I just need you to trust me on this, and I need you to do X, Y, and Z. I'm going to be like, well, I might be able to do that, but I need you to tell me what the problem is. Oh, no. You just need to trust me. I... That's not good enough. You've got to be honest and you've got to be open. Anyway. But anyway, there we go. That's another wonderful week on the Isnib Show. Thank you all for being here. It's been bloody wonderful. We need to find somebody to raid. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly, Red Mage. It, Red Mage, it's like... um. He was like, yeah, Red Mage, we're buddies, aren't we? And Red Mage's like, yeah, yeah, sure is. And I was like, okay, here's the plan, Red Mage. I need you to uh, stop what you're doing. And I need you to come over to England right now. Don't worry, I've got your plane ticket. And I'm sending this to your house. Here's the details. And Red Mage is like, what the bloody hell is? What's going on? I can't tell you, Red Mage. You just have to trust me. But we're friends. So don't ask questions. He's going to be like, what the, f what the fuck is... What are you talking about? That's not what friends do. You don't, you don't... You don't use it against people, do you? And then, it, then Red Mage goes, No, it is. That sounds crazy. I'm not going to do that. And then I go, Oh, well, Red Mage. I've always been alone anyway. <laughs> what kind of a dickhead would I be? Yeah, exactly. That's Anders right now. Slap him up the side of the head. Yeah, mate. Anyway... We need to find someone to raid. Let me see who's around. But th yeah, thank you for all being here. We're making chonky progress on Dragon Age. Uh, I don't know how much is left of the game. I am going to guess that we wouldn't complete it on Monday, but that we'd be very close to the end. So I need to, pr this weekend, make sure I prep our next game and it's ready to go um, before... Monday slash Tuesday slash Wednesday. Slash this is what I'll find. People want me to do like a 24-hour stream. Balthier's always in here. Oh, do another two hours, another three hours. I find after seven hours of talking non-stop. 
my words start to fail me. Here we go. Right, there's slight. But we raided slight yesterday. Here we go. There's Metapod there. Oh. Uh, Metapod's playing some Mega Man X. Uh, who else? Ah, cool. There's, uh, there's Kratos. There's, uh, Alice. Uh, several other cool people around. I'll send you over to Metapod. He's a cool guy. I like him. We will. If anybody, so yeah, I'll be returning on Monday, same time as always. If anybody does need me for anything over the weekend, do uh, you know, do um, message me on Discord anytime. I need to be able to spell. God, my brain melts by the time we get to uh, <laughs> the end of Friday's stream. Melty brain, is nib. That's me. Um, stuff to take care of. But yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure, folks. Um, I don't know, there's too much more to say. Get me if you need me. Have a good weekend. I'll see you soon.